Friday, every pony, one and all. How are y'all doing on this Friday night? How are y'all doing on this Friday freaking night, huh? Welcome on in. Uh, you're gonna talk about some stuff and we'll play a game. Uh, first things first, I will say, after this stream, things will change. <laughs> uh, I'm hard focusing into content. So. Things might be changing, things might be kind of weird for a little bit. I hope stream tonight helps some of you because I see some of you are like, today wasn't good for me, but I hope the stream can help you relax and just chill out tonight. I'm gonna go hard on content creation. I'm gonna be hard, I'm hard. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you to uh, guys, guys in the corner. Thank you for the resub for two months. Woo, I'm here this time for my favorite case, right on. Kevin Cole, thank you for the reset for 24 months for two years, goddamn. And then Pia Dua, thank you for the reset for 26 months. Wakes up in a cold sweat. Uh, I walked away from a job that was taking advantage of me and mentally kind of fucked me up. So I'm recovering and grieving on that, which is awesome. Uh, I will be doing streams regularly again. We're going back to like try to do streams Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, sometimes Sunday. Uh, that being said, I, like I said, changes are going to be happening. We'll explain changes later. I'm going to be more involved with the community, etc., etc. Thank you everybody for the hype train. Hype train's about to end. Uh, but yeah, if you want to support me and help me through this weird fucking time in my life, you can do so by subbing to Twitch. You can do so by donating to the Kofi. Or if you go on Throne and you want to buy me something, that's fucking up to you. Every little bit helps. Oh, it's been so long since I've been in stream. I saw your Discord announcement. Thank you. It, things will be all right. I'll figure it out. But like, I wanna, I want this to be a more stable career for me. So things will change, and I will. I will try to focus more and provide more content. Uh, like I said, if you want to support me, that's great. Ways to do it is subbing, doing whatever. Are you just in the finals like two seconds ago? No. No idea. Uh, but yeah, ways to support me, etc., etc. Streams are coming back. But with that, uh, I'm gonna grab my goofy aha friends. We'll see what's up. I'll see if they're even ready. None of them are talking, so that's fucking horrific. Someone has my name on there with TTV next to it. That's crazy. It ain't me. That's for damn sure. No, I don't know. Uh -huh. I just all of a sudden got juicy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. <laughs> I'm always like I'm wetter than I was before. <laughs> uh, oh fuck. Oh. 
Oh my god. Uh, out of nowhere, I'm not kidding. Out of nowhere, I started salivating more and my eyes are watering and I'm it, like at like I'm there's snot. I don't it, I, like I don't know what's going on. I do you have to throw up? No, I don't know. <laughs> go do me Am a I favor. Do me do me a favor. Mute, go to the bathroom and just like stand in front of the toilet real quick. Just please. No, no cuz then I'm going to be thinking about drinking it. What? Okay, I'm like a dog. you're like a slut. I don't know. All right, hey everybody. <laughs> Why would you say that to me? Welcome on in, my friends, Robbie. Yeah, I see. Hold on, I'm gonna post it again. Oh my Did god! It? Did <laughs> it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, hey, on relic. Thank I you for the follow. This gift. I hate this gift so fucking. It's crazy. maybe one of the worst. I it's think it's so great. Awful. It's the greatest of all time. I'm gonna click this video. No, uh, I'm joined by Robbie too. <laughs> you should. Uh, I'm joined by One Paper Box House. Yo, what's good? And last but certainly not least, One Okie Dokie oh. Dev. Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you, Jelly Pops, for the reset for four months. Great brain. Yeah, we're back. We're going. We're going on to round chapter two, which I think we're back in London. I don't know. Robbie's wet and Jackson is hard. Where the other two feeling? Yeah, what are you feeling? What What are you feeling like, Dad? What are you feeling like, Alfred? Are you wet uh, or hard or another thing? No, I'm certainly not either of those. Uh, I'm hmm. Hmm. I'm warm. Oh. Okay. Are you hot and bothered? No, I had like a headache before uh, stream. So, so just bothered? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, I'm I'm going to be negative this whole stream. Okay, all right. Awesome. Can't wait. Alfred, how are you? Doing? I'm cool. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay I'm, I'm I'm warm. He's cool. Okay. Okay. And together we're swag. And that's, that's true. right. That's, That's fucking right. true. We are made of swag. We are made of win. <laughs> I'm gonna body both swag and I just, class. I, just, I, I imagine all of us just dripped out of our fucking minds. Like, stay well, apparently, up, Robbie's like, ahead of like, ahead of us. I got my um, I got my polo shirt on with one collar popped. Uh, I got my khakis with all my pockets. What do you? Open. No, no, go back. Uh, what do you mean one collar? That's popped? A, I, mean, I I was also like. <laughs> do that That's what the fuck i got one collar popped and then my khakis got all my pockets open and my flies down and uh and on my feet i got uh one sock but i forgot the other one uh oh. and my and my shoes are uh brown vans hmm. brown like slip on, on vans and on my wrist y'all yeah. my jerly I got, okay. I got, um, plastic SpongeBob watch. Yo, okay. And on my, and on my ankles, house arrest bracelet. <laughs> and on, and on my head, on my noggin, uh, sniper dot pointed at my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I got that, I got that BK Homer Simpson barbecue watch where you click it and it goes, mmm, burger. Yeah, I got that secret decoder watch that tells me the password of the Lucky Charms and where and where to find the fucking pot of gold. I got a uh, got on my motherfucking Louis Vuitton Tyler the Creator collab T-shirt. New Kofi subscription okay. from Mebelock fifty eight. Oh, I got on. Whoa. Basketball shorts. Are they really long? Are they below your knees? I'm gonna be real. I don't have any of this shit on, actually. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Keep it real. Keep it a bug. You, you don't, don't got. Any of you don't got have, any gold. I, I I don't got no gold. All I have on is this fucking tank top and uh, my Goku pajamas. <laughs> Oh, is that is that over? Is that over or under the outfit that you have on right now? It's over. 
Okay. It's so over. It's so over. So you so you have a so you have a t shirt and basketball shorts and that's completely covered by your Dragon Ball pajamas. <laughs> no, I no the first fit is not on. That shit is not it doesn't I I, I wish I had a Louis Vuitton Tyler the Creator fucking uh, button down or a shirt. This is this is a this is a pretend scenario where you could be wearing whatever. Oh, you want. oh my broke, god. Broken only broken only afford the Louis volitions. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you don't got Gucci, you got booty, bro. Oh! <laughs> Please, not the Versace! Stop! No, no, no! Bro, got, bro, no. bro wearing the yuckies? <laughs> that shit says oh. easy on them, what the fuck? Oh. That, shit, that shit does not say E, that says nay. <laughs> that shit says golf with flower, I'm going home. That's not Jordan, bro. That's Barkley. How'd you get them on them shoes? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jordan ain't ever did that. <laughs> Jordan never did that move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 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 real, real, it's real, been real two real weeks. Quick. Yeah. If, if I had to pick an outfit, I'd have on my 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 multi pattern Louis Vuitton Tyler the Creator collab button down. My uh my pants we got on the fucking slip on Jordans and my bucket hat. That's it. And that's it. That's it. And that's it. That's it, baby. Mimi Lock, thank you for subbing on Kofi. Dude, Air Force Pretty. Ones. No, that's Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> because I'm embarrassed with that to Got them Alaskas. Those, those, bro got, bro those got the are, fucking, bro got the Boeings on. <laughs> those, those are not Timberlands, those are Timbers. <laughs> Timber. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm playing the game. The Tims, bro. They got Toms. <gasps> the Mud Mars is the clouded Kokoro. For all you, for all you Gaijins out there. I don't know what it means. Why did they just translate it? They did. What's a Kokoro? I don't know. Here. The cloud, the clouded heartbeat. The telltale heart. Oh. No, different guy. Different guy, I don't know. It was a ghastly tale of Winter's Night, one of an invisible killer and a crime perpetrated on the pavement along Briar Road. As the victim lay at death's door, the mystery of just who had stabbed the young lady from behind had been resolved. Oh. So the so so remember that the first the the case so Psyche's case mm -hmm. in the first game was the adventure of the clouded Kokoro. Oh, uh, now we're at the memoirs. Uh, Dimpler, can you shadows of, of Gaslight did a second bizarre crime run the stillness of that very night. I dare say most can still recall the sensational headlines of the day. Is that fucking Cole Phelps? What is going on? Haunted apartment of death, the condemned criminal's curse, the dreaded demon of coal gas. What? <laughs> the fucking dung eater. <laughs> Yet, though the great detective have once uh, discerned the truth upon his arrival at the scene, it only proved to be the overture that announced the rising of the curtain on a most tragic play. Not this fucking... No! Was that the guy from the first game who just showed up in a cutscene and then left? I think so. Oh, my name is Ryunosuke Narahoto. I'm a fledgling lawyer just starting out on my journey. Six Can months. we uh, turn uh -huh. off the stream? I'm tired and I don't want to stream anymore. Okay. Yeah, no. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the cool. subs. Thank you for going on in. We'll be back Friday. Uh, until then. Uh, I haven't voiced anybody yet. Yeah. I'm bored. I'm <laughs> bored. <laughs> <laughs> Can I voice someone next, please? Yeah. My line? Sure. Six I haven't had a character this whole fucking time. Six months ago, I arrived as a visiting student in law. Can I voice this character? Having made the long voyage across the sea from the Empire of Japan oh to here. London, England! <laughs> Sorry. <We're> and, so <laughs> <laughs> and on the way, in quite extraordinary circumstances, I made the acquaintance of a world famous detective. Currently, I reside in the attic of the detective's own lodgings from where I run my legal uh, consultancy of sorts. Oh, Blue Graves, thank you for the rate of four. Welcome on in. I've successfully defended a number of clients in Britain's highest court, the Old Bailey. 
since a particularly grueling and unforgettable legal battle four months ago now. I haven't returned to the courtroom. In truth, I lost my right to return. But that epic trial was just one small part of an epic tale. A tale which was now about to awaken from slumber. <laughs> Thanks to a letter that arrived this morning from my homeland. What? Y'all see the Renoir icon in the background with those books stacked up over there? It does look like the Renoir icon. <laughs> ah, you're totally does. right. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> you are totally right, yeah. Mmm, what a delicious smell wafting up the stairs. Mmm, donut. Mm, donut <laughs> might. Uh, must be nearly you time for breakfast. <laughs> I yeah, a good bit. <laughs> I better go down to Mr. Shum Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and say good morning to the great detective and his flatmate. Dave, August 7, 28 a.m. So sweet. Can I voice this character? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you want him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> it's your character. Oh, it is. It's Iris. Bro, this is so funny. I've been in the studio for two years at this point. Never in my life have I heard the upstairs neighbors like talk or socialize. I think they finally have company over. Oh, and now you have to All do right, Iris man. voice. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to do daughter voice. Do a little girl voice. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, I, uh, oh, I, I, <laughs> I was just about to call up to you. The bacon's ready. Good morning, Iris. It smells delicious as usual. Uh, before we eat, though, I have some news. I had a surprise this morning. Oh, here we go. Here you go, Alfred. Welcome. Oh my god, what does this character sound like? Uh, British dweeboid. <laughs> this is about to be so <laughs> trash. Okay. Loud, excitable, white... <laughs> Guilt. British man. <laughs> Shh. Not another word, Mr. Narahodo. Yeah, there you go. This could be just the obstru This could be the obtruse thing for my pre-breakfast stagnation repelling mental stimulation, my dear fellow. <laughs> they, this is before they have YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Morning to you too, Mr. Sholmes. Oh yes, I see. Ah, whoa, back fuck the, you! Fuck back up! The fuck up! <laughs> Put on your 3D. Turn on your 3D slider now. <laughs> the truth is clear to me as day. My faculties of observation have revealed it again. What? What are you talking about? You, Mister Naruhodo, you, you have this very morning met with a surprise. Well, is that not the case? <laughs> what the uh, uh, fuck is this? Um, um. Really, my dear fellow, it barely warrants explanation. Firstly, your hair is particularly unkempt, somewhat reminiscent of a bird's nest. I just woke like up! <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, yeah. bro, I literally just came down here. I don't you, know. And, and, you, and you came down here looking like this? Fucking you, trash garments. Don't you got a 10 year old cooking you breakfast? Better than you? Secondly, <laughs> you have neglected to fasten the third button of your jacket. You're looking at my clothes. You're looking at my chest. Oh, Juno Pill, thank you for the reset for 29 months. That's why your hair unkempt? Fuck off. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's why your partner did. Clearly, <laughs> when considered together, these two facts point to you having been flustered this morning. Shom says that, and then Rinoski just puts his hand on his shoulder. He's like, I got something to tell you. <laughs> I, I gotta break some news to you. Can I talk now? <laughs> but of course, but of course. Though I don't look for admiration, you understand. My hair always looks like this. It's been this way since I first met you. Oh. It has? <laughs> And the button was ripped off last night, if you remember. 
by you. Huh? You were rip you were ripping out off his clothes? <laughs> what? what? Any bug you butt it off! Oh yes, I recall the incident now. It was after supper, was it not? As the evening advanced, I picked up my violin and began to play the wailing notes of a haunting tune. That shit went whap, 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 whap. <laughs> But then to my utter dismay, the third string snapped! Why did it have to happen? Why? <laughs> <laughs> did you want to then? That in my vexation, I grabbed the first button I saw and ripped it from the its proper place. Well, I'd like it back now, please. It's troubling me that I can't fasten my jacket. And it's troubling me that you expect me to know where it is. Somewhere thereabouts on the floor, one presumes. Helpful. What matters at the present time, my dear fellow, is simply whether or not my deduction was unerring. But Ali, Ludo said when it came in, <laughs> did he? <laughs> I had a surprise this morning. I don't sound like that. You sound exactly like that. You sound exactly like that. What? Oh, this... <laughs> <laughs> well, that really is a surprise. Yes. And here? <laughs> and here! <laughs> and here! Oh, yes, this man is the pride of the British Empire! The famous consulting detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. There can't be a single person in the world who doesn't know his name. Alright then, enough of this silly conversation. Come and eat this bacon before it gets cold! And I have a new herbal tea for you to try too! My latest special blend! Here we have Iris Wilson, Mr. Sholmes' lodger and companion. A truly exceptional young girl who's the author of a highly successful serialization here in London! Yes, The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes, as published in Rant Magazine. Eating the bacon? Eating the bacon. From won't you put us out of all misery? What surprised you this fine morning? Ah, uh, well, I received a letter from Japan. Think Japan? <laughs> oh! From CZ, you mean? Was it? Really? That's right. And she had some rather startling news, in fact. Ah, oh, intriguing indeed. You must tell us about it over breakfast! Oh yes! What fun! Charum, I want to let you know that this voice is going to change multiple times. I cannot do a... Got a little Australian I do a... in there. <laughs> I can't do a British accent! I can't do it! He's waiting for it. Oh my god. Hey, check this it's... thing out. Oh, the machine really is imposing, isn't it? But I can't even remember its name. Ellie calls it the Great Analytoscope, and it can analyze anything at all. That doesn't really help me. What does analyzing something even mean? Oh, an extremely astute question, Mr. Naruhodo. Sorry? Well, as Iris said, my machine... Okay. Just give me a second. It keeps going back to Australian over and over. <laughs> well, as Iris said, my machine here spits out analysis results of anything which <clears throat> you care to present it. Hmm. That seems really advanced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, what, what year is it? <laughs> But how to interpret those results, that's key. And I confess I have an idea. I have no idea, actually. Uh. <laughs> Scratch that. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that. I don't know. Clearly, I'm going to have to construct a great 
analytoscope, analytoscope to solve the problem. That might not help. Your viola. The skeleton. The skeleton. The skeleton appears. Ah yes, Mr. Shum's faithful musical companion. Wasn't this violin made by somebody famous? Uh -oh. Yes, it's a Stradivarius. Though I'm afraid you'd have to save up for a hundred years before you can afford one right now. What the fuck Broken is going bitch. on? Look at my tags in the stream right now, and you'll actually... The what? <laughs> it's not like your... It's not like your broadcast would ever afford one. <laughs> and that's why your daddy dead. Uh, but didn't you... <laughs> Did you buy it for a song, <laughs> Mr. Shones? <laughs> I found it in a pawn brokery among the forfeited articles. It clearly said Stradvarius on the label. What? I don't know. Big and broker had no idea of its true value, you see. So I, I don't care anymore. I don't give a fuck. So I paid a mere 55 shillings for it. <laughs> <laughs> I I what, I what's up? Nifty? What's up, London? It's me, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> where, the, where the fuck is Nifty at? Take the voice back. No, like, actually, this is so bad. I have slipped into three different accents this entire time trying to do this voice. Do you want to do you want to do, do you want to do, do you want to like tap out? Like, clap, clap, tap, clap, tap, tap it off. Clap, wanna... tap, clap, tap. Future tapping game. At least until I figure it out. Someone else take it, please. I, I, let me just give me give me a second. Just give. Me, All right. <laughs> give me a second. All right. So, so what? So what else? Take it for a bit, and I'm going to practice my British, and then right. come back and try this again. All right. Well, Dev, you want to take it over? All right. <clears throat> yes, I have something of a turn for shopping. Herlock Sholmes, bargain hunter. But <laughs> is it is it really a Stradivarius then? But of course, my dear fellow, it said so on the label. I think perhaps the ignorant broker had something of a turn for selling. Oh, <laughs> that shit said made of gold, but it's fucking made of wood. <laughs> Believed it. <laughs> Get gold paint. <laughs> <laughs> Never used. Books. Someone said Alfred's body violently rejects British. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. You're allergic. <laughs> no, because like when Jackson told me, I was like, I was like, oh sure, like I can like I can give it a shot, and then I was like, oh wait, I don't think I have a, <laughs> I don't have a good British accent. It always it's okay, none of us do. <laughs> yeah, none of us. Anglophobic. <laughs> Such is love. Oh my books. Papers, scientific implements. These shelves are stuffed to the gunnels. <laughs> to the what the fuck are gunnels? To the wobbles? To the wobbles, Reno B. Thank you for the reason for 22 fucking months. Can you grab my, my tincture of cocaine from the top shelf? I feel the vapors. Oh, lordy. Pass the heroin. <laughs> Me when I see ankles. <laughs> oh, great heavens. <laughs> I do believe I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Sato wouldn't be able to help herself if she were here. She can't stand mess. Seems you might not be able to stand mess, but she would dare touch those shelves. Oh, why not? Everything's in an intricate balance. Ernie spends ages on it. If you were to touch even one thing, the whole lot would come tumbling down. Huh. <sighs> Susie noticed it's a very delicate arrangement right up from the outset. Cyber Rosaka oh, donated oh 10. Whoa. First stream I've caught in a while. Was in college during when you all streamed what? the first game and what? now work claims the day to day. <laughs> what wow, how time flies. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Cyber Rose, for the 10. Uh, first stream I've caught in a while. Was in college during when you all streamed the first game. Oh brother! <laughs> oh brother! Did you did you <laughs> did you graduate? How'd those finals go, champ? <laughs> hey guys, just uh, 
Hey guys, I was uh, born when you guys started Great Ace Attorney, and now I'm uh, 35 years old. Uh, looking forward to the rest of these streams. Yeah, no job of the sex. <laughs> oh, you make it sound like a meeting of great minds. But the truth is, Mr. Strom just needs to tidy up. Mr. Strom just needs to tidy up. I'm like, oh my god, hold on, I need water. I can feel it. I ate a banana before stream, and there's still gunk in my teeth. I want a banana. I want a banana. <laughs> I want a banana. 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 Please have me a banana. Hey guys, I was starting middle school when Bi Attorney started. Now I'm retiring. Oh my god. Awesome. Is that everything on this side of the room? I know we don't need to do this, but I like I like dialogue. Did you check oh, anything on the counter? Yeah, I think that's everything over here. What's that? <laughs> Those look like initials. They were, weren't they? That was something in the first game, I think. I don't. I didn't. Think, I don't know. It's like voice acting? Question mark. Wait, that's, that's a fucking that's an R! No! <laughs> Jackson, I gotta go. They left! Oh my god. Oh no, my god. None, Jackson, none, none of the, so none of the none of that was on stream. Really? Yep. Dude, what and happened? we said we said the worst shit just now. It what are you talking about? It only went off for like a second. I didn't hear a fucking thing. Hey, if y'all want to make sure my streams are <laughs> Not dropping down. If you go to Throne, there's a fucking new Ethernet cable because I found out my Ethernet cable isn't compatible with my router, which is fucked. Since when? I don't know. I called and I was like, hey, why does my fucking downloads keep getting throttled and my connection keep dropping? And they're like, I don't know. Figure it out. That's their job to figure it out. <laughs> you would think, right? What well, I'm I'd go, I'd go up there and I'd give them a piece of my mind. As in, I'd rip my fucking brain out and throw it at the fucking <laughs> throw it at the wall as hard as I could. Yeah, I really thought that was <gasps> an A. No, it was an shit, R. That shit was a fucking R. Fuck my life. It's for voice that's reacting. An a, that's that's an A with a limp wrist. <laughs> Bro, we, we got paper box house, a feed in here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say to me? <laughs> I took the R out of your name. Oh, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm hey, Abby, dude. And I'm hey, Abby. <laughs> Lumpy Jacks. Abby, <laughs> Abby, dude. That's when Robbie starts streaming Roblox. Yeah, that's when the Roblox stream starts. What, like, for, hi, hi, Arnie, or hi, Annie, like. <laughs> hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds like, that sounds like a little. That's like when you have like a little like fucking like two-year-old niece or nephew that doesn't know how to say your name. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> hi, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is Roblox banned? Yeah, don't say it. Anyway, I'm gonna oh. talk about the L shoe on the on the mantle. <laughs> Dude, that's Wario. Also, that's Wario's shoe. <laughs> Check out those shoes. <laughs> well, come over here. Come over here. It's so sorry. Rare. Also, I sorry. Why? Sorry. Why? Yo. <laughs> why? Yo? I think I would like to give it another try. Okay. Let's go. 
Uh, when it gets to this time of year, Londoners seem to leave their hearts to light all day long, and I love it. There's something very relaxed about watching the flames flit and dance about. But a fireplace in the... <laughs> but a... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but a fireplace in the days of summertime is a waste of space. Really, no use at all. Hey, you know what? That was that was really good. I'm gonna show you my really good impression. Right then, great detectives in the day of no crimes and no criminals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you did it more like that, I think it'd be more authentic. Oh, I got it. A <laughs> book of this. Instead of a foil place, a frost place. That's my latest idea. Anything? Did that work? Yeah, that right. works. <laughs> An extraordinary hearth from which emanates a cool breeze in the hot summer months. What do you think? I I think you invented such a thing your name would go down in history. The principle is extremely simple. One must, of course, light a coal fire in the hearth. <laughs> yes, of course. Brilliant. The trouble is, none of the fires I feel ever burn cold. How it taunts me. I was inventing the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> the air conditioner. So as you British say, it's a bit of a damn squib. <laughs> this shit is so, this shit is so damn squib. I don't know what the fuck that there was, means. There was no response, bro. They just ignored his ass after he said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would we fucking listen turned to and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Sholmes is like, there's not a single response I can give back that isn't offensive, so... <laughs> <laughs> Very big of him, honestly. Yeah, he's learning. Ryunosuke said I'm not allowed to say that anymore. <laughs> he, he yelled at me. <laughs> he yelled at me. The, these are different pieces of evidence from cases you've solved, aren't they, Mr. Sholmes? I'm sorry. Who can say? Y'all were just saying that? It just made me think of like Sholmes in that comic book. I just guess who just got fucking yelled at? <laughs> <laughs> here comes a, here comes a great detective. Here comes a great detective. Here comes a great what, detective. What is what is that comic called, Robbie? Akewood. It's Akewood, yeah. I never read it. I just know I just know that one panel. <laughs> just who just got yelled at? Oh, not quite, Mister Naruto. Not quite. These trinkets are a selection from cases I've solved with particular aplomb. They are souvenirs of my own success, my memories, Mr. Naruhodo. Memories! Really? So tell me about the case in which the bust of Napoleon featured. You took a man's bust? <laughs> I forget. Memories, he says. Wonderful, Mr. Sholmes, wonderful. You got head from a man and his bust? And from Napoleon? <laughs> <laughs> you had a pole in? From Napoleon boner part? <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> and you busted in Napoleon? And you forgot? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the huge metal chest with the lace cloth laid on it, being used as a table for tea and coffee. It's very sturdy, that's for sure, and firmly locked shut. That chest contains my father's detailed records of all his many cases! Uh, yes, so I've been led to believe. Uh, personally, I've never actually seen inside. And that's the way it will stay! These papers are a secret between Daddy and me! Put your bust on Napoleon's boner part? Okay. You open it or invite it! You might find yourself being bitten! That thing's amazing. I sound like British Whitey from Eight Crazy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> so tactical for her. A technical foul, early. <laughs> <laughs> what, is there a beast inside there or something? That shit's a mimic. I don't trust that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's gonna... <laughs> You're gonna try to open, it's gonna kill you instantly. What kind of fucking complex equations are you doing over here? Solved that. Oh, yes. Yeah, Math nerds is... in chat be like, solved it. 
Done. <laughs> Next. <laughs> my, my favorite my favorite thing to do in the entire world is anytime someone puts like a math problem or or like wordle or something in a chat, just immediately responding with done. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I stream Sudoku and you don't say anything in the entire like two hours I've been live, but then you come in when I'm playing fucking Picross, and you're just like, just solved it. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Next. Oh my god. Yeah, that is that is velocity equals summation of rotation force and absolute value of velocity, huh? Yeah, I, I knew that. <laughs> Took you a while to figure that out. <laughs> oh, yes, this is where you know um, down ideas, isn't it? <laughs> What's in the melting pot today? Hmm, the blue carbuncle. Yes, it's from a case of death that early saw ages ago. The death of a precious stone. A carbuncle is another name for a garnet, you see. Especially if it's cut with a rounded top. What? What? Oh, really? <laughs> you know, like Steven. And this carnet was blue, oh, no, was it? <laughs> yeah, it's a technical for her. <laughs> well, that's the thing. They're usually red. No blue garnets have ever been discovered. It's called, called a sapphire. <laughs> Of course, so far, actually. I'm not making any sense. <laughs> That's Australian. I was, I was like, was that number four? <laughs> <laughs> you know, making any sense. Not making any sense. Bro, it was. I'm, I'm sorry that we keep stopping, Jackson. I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> I don't. Like, I, don't no, I don't have a I job was, anymore. I'm here. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't oh, work I'm anymore. Sorry. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just stroking my shit. I, I got <laughs> lotion on my shit. I'm stroking my shit right now. You take your time. It was the fucking. <laughs> it's just Dev. <laughs> Dev, you say that. <laughs> just hearing you like break down. <laughs> and it's just like. <laughs> I was like, all right, make it. My my brain was like, make a joke about Steven Universe right now. <laughs> Quick. And that's, what it, and that's what it came up with. And I was like, that's all? That's all you got? <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> they beat the my thing, ass. I, I just want, I'm I'm pride, you know. <laughs> it's like, I heard you go up and then like hearing the fucking. I don't even know what song you said. You were just like. <laughs> I was doing the end of the intro where it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> and I was like, not, I was like leaving out every other sound. So I, I was like, ah. <laughs> I could tell it was nothing. So I was like, all right, Dev, yes, and all right, you walked, in, you walked in with the sour cream and onion half-eaten bag, and I'm like, oh, a five-course meal? Go ahead and keep t talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony already <laughs> ate these Pringles. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? Oh. So who knows what the stolen gemstone actually was? That's the real mystery of the case. Great stream today. Not the dead guy. Yeah, not the it's dead the guy. <laughs> Great stream today. Thanks. If you want to support me, you know what to do, I reckon. Proper Herlock Sholmes conundrum, huh? Yeah. That's the whole conversation. Tea time! Yeah. I look forward to finding out what aroma your tea will have, Iris, every single day. Ah, well, I infuse a different concoction of herbs from the garden every time. So it's never the same twice. <laughs> it's stinging nettle and poison ivy. Drink up. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> it's dirt and poison. Just, you should try the coffee. <laughs> mm -mm. That's right. We made bean juice today. Drink up. <laughs> when you call it a concoction, it sounds more like a science experiment than something for tea time. Oh, yes, that's because different blends can have very different properties. 
Some call me Dan. Some <laughs> call me Julie. Some <laughs> give you energy. Oh, I'm feeling. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm. Bro. I'm jolly. I'm oh. feeling down. All right, down under. <laughs> oh. You say it like that? oh. Oh my God. <laughs> some call me Dan. <laughs> Yeah, hey, right. Some call me down, some make you feel jolly. <laughs> Today's particular blend is something quite special, so you really have a treat. This one's gonna make you shit your pants. Juice underscore box donated <laughs> six. <laughs> oh, juice box. Thank you for the six. That sounds ominous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy! Put rat poison in it. <laughs> You're gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you suffer, Runo. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> no, just, just try it. <laughs> so many different <laughs> bottles. How, of come, how come you guys aren't? How come you guys aren't taking a sip? <laughs> I'll give one. You have the first sip. <laughs> okay. Well, <it's> like... <laughs> <laughs> really good. Really good. <laughs> So no, it's Jack it's bad if it's really good. I put poison Happy in it. International oh, Women's Day. It tastes really bad. <laughs> what? Jack, thank you for the 10. Happy International Women's Day. Congrats, women. Happy birthday, women. What are we doing? There's so many different bottles up there in that charming little set of white shelves. <laughs> That's all the poison. I do be careful there now. You must enjoy the contents of any of these bottles, even if you're angry. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to do something stupid like that. I'm not a child, you know. Well, I wish I could say the same for Ellie. The other day, he polished a bowl full bottle of one of my alkaloids. What? <laughs> you what? He what? He said he was angry. Did you let him? Hungry. Oh, be extra careful. Hungry. Hungry. Storms from the other side of the room. I was. Hungry! Hungry! <laughs> we just have breakfast! Hungry! Hungry. <laughs> Alright. Iris, do you have any more of those pure citrus tablets? <laughs> Feeling a bit famished. <laughs> I'm a bit peckish right now. <laughs> I can type with my eyes shut, you know. <laughs> I can believe it. When a deadline's approaching, you sound like a Gatling gun. That reminds me of a dream I had the other day. It was such a funny one. Put me up, actually. What the fuck? I was typing for a whole hour in the pitch black, but I didn't make a single mistake. That's incredible. But then, when it got light, I found that there wasn't any paper in the machine. Oh. <laughs> now I wonder if I'd actually been ten. typing at all. Paper box house, are you really a 10? Mods, can we go ahead and take care of that? Uh, I think you might have just fallen asleep on the job. What did he mean by that? What did I mean by that? <laughs> dude, what is that? Dude, what is that blue tincture on the on the right? That's mana. I, bro, that's gonna restore my fucking SP. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> I think that's everything. You looked at all my belongings. Would you like to have a conversation? Can you check this out. Can we actually talk now? Hold on, check this out. Oh, um, Mr. Shums, about this. Shh! Not another word. Oh, yes, I see. It should be a collar for a breed of miniature canine with a particularly long neck for and for winter use. Actually, it's the armband I always wear that symbolizes my role as a defense lawyer. Precisely, which leads us to but one conclusion. Your arm is, in fact, the particularly long neck of a miniature canine. I'm starting to wish I'd never shown him this now. The man's barking mad. Because it's like a dog. I don't like, I don't like, I don't. Anyway, uh, hey, Mrs. Saro's letter. This is the letter that arrived from Japan this morning, by International Post. Oh, how lovely! Look at Susie's beautiful writing! I wish I could read it. Because <laughs> it's in Japanese, not because I'm little! <laughs> <laughs> and 
And how is your judicial assignment faring, may I ask? Uh, she's very well, thank you. In fact, according to what she's written, she's actually appeared as a lawyer at the Japanese Supreme Court and won a case. Oh, really? <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? A cut above your shell. Oh my god. A cut above your good shell. I keep saying shelf. <laughs> a cut above your good self, my dear fellow. I've won cases too, you know. Uh, apparently, Mr. Natsume appeared in trial as a witness. Natsume, Natsume. No, I don't recall that name. I, of course you do! We helped the man! Twice! You know, in those two cases that took place on Briar Road six months ago. You remember. Ah, oh, the mustache twitchy man with the somewhat feline eyes and the mustache? You didn't have two mustaches, Ailey. Yes, who could forget those two cases? They made a very deep impression on me. Although I must confess, the details are a little hazy now. A very deep impression they made on you, clearly. Alright, what's this startling news? So, what is this startling news pinned by Miss Sisato? Uh, do you remember the case of the haunted lodgings, Mr. Sholmes? Oh, yes. It's very interesting, you know. I don't feel entirely certain that a case of that nature did not... not occur. He's totally forgotten, then. Anyway, in her letter, Mrs. Sato asks that we read over her case notes again and investigate further. There were, it took place a half a year ago? For what purpose? Uh, because of something that Mr. Natsume said to her, apparently. He suggested that the real reason why she was called back to Japan so suddenly might have something to do with that case of the haunted lodgings. Oh? Iris needs to invent ADHD meds for him. Sholmes is already on meth. It ain't helping. On Mr. Natsume's return to Japan, Mrs. Sato's father questioned him about the case, she says. And something Mr. Natsume said appeared to trouble Professor Mikotoba, prompting him to send that telegram. Oh, that case, yes! The one we all remember. Yeah. It was very strange, wasn't it? Yes. Roy compiled the whole story into a nice neat manuscript ready for publication, too. But that early he was all funny about it, remember? He was very mean. That story must not be published, you said, very mysteriously as well. <clears throat> Sorry. Really? I said that? Are you sure? <laughs> Do you perhaps know something about it as well, Mr. Sholmes? About why Miss Sasato was suddenly told four months ago that she had to return to Japan? Uh, Mrs. Sato. It's been four months now since we waved Susie off at Dover. Yep, four months. It was such a shock, wasn't it? The way she suddenly announced that she had to go back to Japan. Indeed it was. <clears throat> Due to a telegram she received from her homeland, I believe. That's right. Telling you to return <laughs> urgently. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tuck that one in too. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking like a dart through. <laughs> yes, because her father had passed away. No, no, no. It just said he was suffering from a high fever, the cause of which was unknown. He's not dead. But according to this letter, that news about her father's fever was just a ruse. A ruse. So Susie's daddy lied to her that she'd make the voyage back home? Why would he do that? I have to admit, I have absolutely no idea. But she believes it's almost certainly related to the case of the haunted lodgings. Okay. Uh, summoning her back to Japan so suddenly like that. I wonder what Mrs. Sato's father is hiding. Hmm. Ellie, do you know what it's all about? Hmm. Ah, oh, well, who can say? 
What? But, but you said... Please, I have engagements, my dear fellow. My calendar is quite surprisingly full today. An astringent analysis of the matter would be excessive, I feel, even if I were quite at leisure. So, man the fort in my absence, won't you, Iris? <laughs> I will, Harry, don't worry. See you later. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, that was, what, like, you just teleported? <laughs> he scuttled off rather quickly there. I think perhaps Professor Mikotova isn't the only person hiding something here. Saseki-san was involved in two cases, but only one of them was forbidden from being published. By, of all people, Mr. Sholmes. <laughs> oh, you found them at last! Iris, are, are they... The notes about the case? That's right! Susie and I compiled them together! The case of the haunted lodgings. You want to read them, Runo? Maybe. Absolutely. Thank you, Iris. I have no idea what secrets could still be hiding in the shadows of this case. But perhaps if I read over the notes again, something might come to light. That's the spirit! Sippy. Hey, I swallowed my gum. And so, Iris and I decided to read over the case notes again together. Mm -mm -mm. I just spilled water all over my lab. Oh, uh, no. I'm wet. I didn't pee myself. It's not pee. Some of it might be pee. What? <laughs> It's me. <laughs> Everything from from what happened to our, our investigation of that fierce battle in court that followed. Reliving every detail. I just need to find a clue. And I have all the time in the world. <laughs> because I don't have a fucking job. Because I'm unemployed. Because, of course, I'm no longer allowed to practice law in, in the courts of Great Britain. In the courts of what? Great Britain! <laughs> Why did you say so? <laughs> it was six months ago. A mysterious incident that unfolded on the wintry streets of London. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Bro, not on Women's Day. Come on. Uh, oh my god. Uh, so Bro, not, no, come on. Oh, you can't do this to her. Supporting no. fertile streamers. Get that Ethernet oh, cable. Oh, so not bad. Thank you for the 20 supporting fertile streamers. Get that Ethernet cable. Thank you. Uh, what? Uh, uh, fertile streamer. I'm I'm the most fertile streamer on Twitch. Oh. A young woman that's was found. That's probably true. It's probably true. A young woman was found lying on the snowy pavement of, of Briar Road with a knife in her back. Unfortunately, her life was spared, but she was unconscious for several days following the incident. The fog was thick, and nobody saw her attacker, but. By a cruel twist of fate, a visiting Japanese student was walking behind her at the time and was duly arrested. This guy. <laughs> that man was Saseki-san, and the man who effected his arrest was Mr. Sholmes. Believing in our uh, compatriot's innocence, Sasato-san and I decided to represent Saseki-san in court. And after a grueling trial of many twists and turns, we finally managed to prove his innocence. Oh. Joe for joyous jubilant jubilation! Was the man's reaction after the trial, but his jubilant jubilation was short lived. We received a telegram from Mr. Sholmes the following morning. The victim of the Briar Road stabbing has regained consciousness. Hurry to Bart's at once. Bart! Bart! Do you show bad? So Sasato-san and I summoned <laughs> summon a hand, a handsome and added immediately to the hospital. A handsome what? <laughs> Bart? 
What is that model on the on the? Oh, do you see that? I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> that's the fucking. That, yeah, that's the fertility model. Twenty first of February, five thirty a.m. Saint Bartholomew's Hospital recovery ward. There's a fucking rat in the corner. Oh no, that's that's one of the doctors. <laughs> oh oh my 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 bad doc. Oh what? Oh what? Now you are at last. Good morning, Mr. Sholmes. I forgot. Oh! Oh damn, what up? <laughs> <laughs> You're late! What on earth took you so long? Your telegram only arrived at 5 o'clock, Mr. Sholmes. And it's a 20-minute ride to the hospital. That's right, and it's half past 5 now. I think we made very good time. The time is utterly irrelevant. The fact is, I have been waiting for what has felt like an eternity. Uh. In point of fact, I must my I myself was awoken at four this morning by a telegram boy. You got boys on telegram? <laughs> and feeling it was somewhat unjust that I alone had been roused at such an hour, I sent one to you. What are you doing you laying in bed? You got, you got roused at four in the morning by a boy on telegram? Why, yeah, why are you laying in bed talking to boys on telegram at four in the morning? <laughs> Well, thanks for that. Anyway, you're here now. So, the victim is over there. She's only regained consciousness. Also, I have not been talking to men on Telegram. Oh, boy, that's right up. You should introduce yourselves, and I shall observe from here. So that's the lady who was found in the snow-covered pavement with a knife in her back. Her name is... Ah, oh yes, here we are. Miss Green. <laughs> she lived? Yeah, yeah, she didn't die. The surrounding wooden figure isn't the most charming, is it? Shut up, gay boy. Shut your fucking mouth. Move over, gay boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think that's a decoration, Mr. Naruhodo. It's an artist mannequin, I believe. Used when practicing sketching the human form in different poses. Really? It's not exactly what you call the typical figure for that purpose, though, is it? What the fuck, Ryunosuke? N no, I suppose not. I confess I've never seen one so full-figured before. Damn right. Well, if you want to draw a full-figured person, it's the right tool for the job. Okay, you know what? I'll give him that. Them being like, I mean, if you need to draw people... <laughs> that are bigger. Here's an actual accurate model. Yeah. Look, there's a photograph in this frame here. Oh yes, it's a picture of a young gentleman. It looks to be about the same age as Miss Green, I would say. Perhaps the young woman's special someone, do you think? My, my, Mr. Naruhodo. I didn't know you had a sense for matters of the heart. Not in the least. I sincerely said the first thing I thought of. Damien's just like me for real. We got a fucking easel. We got all kinds of stuff. Only one of the windows is covered for lighting. Ah, a mouse, Mr. Naruhodo! An enormous mouse! Hmm. A vermin in a hospital? That doesn't seem the best. But it looks like a very healthy specimen, doesn't it? It's very plump. I'm not sure we can say that's down to the excellence of this facility, if that's what you were thinking. Uh, more things to eat. There are lots of bottles in that cabinet, aren't there? Do you think it's safe to keep them like that? <laughs> if you were a patient here, I feel sure you'd take some medicine by mistake when you were half asleep. That is a worry. But at least the cabin has a lock, even if it's only a flimsy-looking one. Oh, I've no doubt you'd manage to unlock that somehow while you are half asleep as well. There are limits even to what I can do when I'm half asleep, you know, Mrs. Sano. Are you surprised? Let me look at your medical chart. This looks like the patient's treatment notes. Let's see. Do not feed. <laughs> what is this place, a zoo? You know, I seem to 
even remember seeing an almost identical sign in our local park. For the pigeons, yes. This is a person. Poor woman. I hope she hasn't read this. I want to go through all your shit before I talk to you. That must be a bag of Miss Green's personal belongings. She would have been uh, she would have been brought directly here after she was found stabbed on the pavement, though. I expect a friend or family member probably brought some things for her. All right, then let's see what's inside. A change of clothes, no doubt, and no, Mr. Naruhodo, you must never scrutinize a young maiden's personal belongings. But the young maiden might have chocolates or biscuits or caramel. Bro did not get to eat before he left. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking hungry. I ate before this stream and I'm hungry again. What's this one say? Ah, this looks like the treatment notes for whoever's occupying this bed. Let's see. Do not do not permit to run around the hospital. The patient doesn't seem to be here at the moment, so he or she's probably running around the hospital then. Oh dear. How worrying. What's worrying is why they haven't discharged the patient yet. It's, yeah, it's the rat's bed. It's Yeah, it's for the rat. <laughs> <laughs> there are all sorts of medicines in this cabinet. Look, I'm not sure if it's safe leaving them in reach of everyone like this. Yes, you're right. I can imagine if you were peckish, you might try a whole bottle or two. I would oh. drink anything. <laughs> At least there seems to be a little lock to secure the cabinet doors. I don't imagine that would stop you if you were hungry. I worry that you'd break the lock. Hunger doesn't turn me into a criminal, you know, Mrs. Sato. Doesn't make me angry. Um... Think I'm angry? I'm not fucking angry. You think I'm mad? I'm not. You All haven't right. seen me when I'm fucking angry. Who wants the voices of this very beautiful lady? Oh, but who will voice this beautiful little lady? Oh, who will voice this beautiful little lady? have a character in this scene. <laughs> yeah, they do the right here. Oh, okay. Weak! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, I guess. Right. Robbie, you want to be Miss Green? What does Miss Green sound like? We'll find out. You ready? Yeah. Um, good morning. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Uh, hello, um, I'm uh, Rinosuke Norohodo from the Empire of Japan. Oh no! Was, was it your knife that... Are you the man who... No, 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 no. I, I'm a lawyer. And I'm Susato Mikotoba. Pleased to meet you. Oh no! Was, was it your knife then? Are you the one? It was the rat. No, no, no! I assure you, I'm Mr. Naruhodo's judicial assistant. We heard that you regained consciousness and wanted to come give you our best wishes. Best wishes? For me? Uh, thank you. I'm Olive. Olive Green. I'm an artist. Oh my god. It is olive oil. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's not right, is it? What I mean is I'm trying to be an artist. Well, what I really mean is I desperately want to be an artist. But the truth is, I don't have any talent. And I know I don't. It's no wonder I was stabbed in the back. That's not oh why. Jesus, no, lady. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 girl has oh. aspiring artist in her bio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's related, actually. Gosh, this young woman seems to bend over backwards to put herself down. Seeing, <laughs> seeing as we're here, we should ask her about what happened from her perspective, I suppose. What if it starts well, raining? What if we get pneumonia? Well, well, she was looking ahead, so I don't think her perspective would really help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Olive. Uh, so, you're an 
artist are you, Miss Green? Oh no! Oh, I couldn't possibly claim that! I'm a fledgling artist at best! I mean, I'm a student of art, really, at the Thorndike Academy of Fine Arts. Oh my! An Academy of Fine Arts? Great Britain is such a wonderful country! Tell me, Miss Green, do you live... Um, do you live hereabouts? Why the... You were just fucking standing there. Oh, no, actually. I don't deserve it, but I have a little flat on Brixton Road. I say... <laughs> How very interesting. Okay. Yes, yeah, Jones has been no, conversing I was, I was, with the wet. I, 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 that, I was definitely laughing at me saying I see and then hearing the Australian <laughs> accent and being like, Whoa. how very interesting. <laughs> you you got to tone it back every time. You got to reel in the fishing line. I, I, it, 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 it's oh, about no. it. Is it? Brixton is some 10 stops away on the underground from here. And Thorndike Academy is a mere three minute walk from Brixton Town Center. Does that matter, Mr. Sholmes? Perhaps not, but Briar Road is far less so... so oh my so god, salubrious. Salubrious, <laughs> <laughs> part of town by comparison, dwelt in by those of inferior means. Including the Maleficent Mr. Mustache. Inferior means? I suppose the Sekisan does fit the bill. It struck me as somewhat out of the ordinary for a young fine arts student to be walking in such a district. That's all. I'm merely oh. asking questions. <laughs> okay. What's this? She's suddenly clammed up. Mr. Sholmes, you should be ashamed of yourself prying into a young maiden's private affairs. <laughs> Oh dear, do you forgive me? <laughs> um, if you don't mind. I'm being discharged shortly, so I need to pack up my things. Oh, yes, of course. We won't keep you. Thank you so much, Miss Green. Uh, can you tell us about the incident while you're packing? But I said I had to... To suddenly be struck in the back by a blade as you were walking along the pavement. What a terrible experience you had, Miss Green. Yeah. <laughs> it was so cold that day, and the fog was so thick, I couldn't see a thing. That was four days ago now, I think. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And I'm afraid you've been comatose all that time. But the case has been solved, hasn't it? Well, I've been here in the hospital, I mean? Indeed it has. My dear madam, spe oh my god, spectacularly, oh, oh my god, let me read, spectacularly by none other than I, Herlock Sholmes. Mr. Sholmes, as you well know, it was Mr. Naruhodo's hard work that's in court that solved the case. Are you yet to hear what happened, Miss Green? Yes, I'm afraid so. A gentleman from the police force is supposed to be coming to fill me in shortly. Oh, and wait. to tell me all about it. Okay. Blink, blink. We'll get out of your hair then. Do you need us to push the beds together? Like, what's yes. going on? <laughs> no, it's okay. Kaz is dreaming that you're the follow. Oh, I see. Me coming round seems to have made everyone frantically busy. I'm so sorry. I should have never regained my consciousness. It was selfish of me. Oh no! We're all so relieved that you're on the mend, Miss Green. Really, we are. <gasps> I'm sorry I'm alive. I'm sorry. That kind of attitude. Maybe her surname should be Blue, not Green. Robbie voice. Robbie voicing another bitch with uh uh. <laughs> Self-image issues. <laughs> How does it keep happening? <laughs> Shut up, da, 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 da. Don't call them bitches, bro.
It's Women's Month. Is there Mr. Narrow Fodder here? Mr. Narrow Fodder? Narrow Fodder now? Well, um, if you're looking for Naro Hodo, the lawyer, that's me, but... Oh, Mr. Narrow Fodder, good. This is for you. It's a message from Mr. The Saucy Nuts Mag. <laughs> Itchy balls, Kostika? <laughs> <laughs> Nutsmeg? Nutsmeg? Mr. Natsume? Send a message to me? Really? Really? But why would a policeman be delivering a message from Mr. Natsume? Oh, brother. Exactly. What's going on? On. On. <laughs> What's a Scotland Yard constable doing playing delivery boy at this time in the morning? Can you guys get out of my room? Help! <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for? Let me see that! She has that, Shomes whips around and just screams at her. <laughs> Can you leave my room, please? Oh, what are you waiting for? <laughs> He did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Just, Mate, so, the, noise, so, the noise that he makes when he's fucking understimulated. Just, <laughs> just, just, I'm sorry about the case. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, this is most unexpected. Is something wrong, Mr. Sholmes? I saw the wrong with your shows, he says. Have you not seen this note? You're talking about me, dickhead! How would no. you pay attention, dumbass? No, how could I have? <laughs> It would seem that London's criminals have no intention on letting the great detective rest. <laughs> a new case calls, a case of murder, no less. We must depart at once. Murder? Is no one paying attention? Call a oh cab. This is a time of essence. Thank time God. is of the essence. What the fuck? But uh, the trouble is, we've yet to read Mr. Natsume's note. I was thinking we ought to pay him a visit in his lodgings once we did. That will be entirely convenient. C convenient? What do you mean? Convenience. It's all here in the know, my dear fellows. Can I fucking read it? Really not read it yet. <laughs> the murder we must investigate took place at Mr. Mustache's lodgings. Oh, God. Wait. <laughs> what? Wait. Not again, oh. bro. Not this shit again. <laughs> Now, how do you pronounce this? I don't know. Can you please get the fuck out? Fiercy? I don't know. Fiar? A cab? Cab. Because I was just going to say fucker. Oh, hell, fucker. I'll hail a fiacre at once. Yeah, I guess. Alright. Thank God. It was only yesterday that Soseki-san was in court and we were dispelling doubts about his innocence. And now, the very next day, there's a murder at the man's own address? He may very well be the unluckiest man alive. Or so it seemed to us at the time, but we were soon to discover it was worse than what we thought. What?! Please, hold on. I'm, I'm like hoping it's somebody didn't die that I think is gonna die here. 21st February, 7.18 a.m., Mr. Natsume's lodgings. Ground floor. Oh, oh man! <laughs> what on earth? Oh, my! The gentleman is deceased without question! He's dead! Uh, local student, Mr. Naruhodo Esquire! Mr. Natsume! Oh, why? Why is this happening? Why to me? Why? Just only just got out of court yesterday! I was finally over after two days of misery! Oh, I can't take it anymore! And then I wake up the next day to this! No early bird should catch the worm like this! Ah! Woeful, warm, without wiggle. 
I see you in high spirits again this morning, Mr. Mustache. Not the horrible Herlock Sholmes. Shoo, shove up! Get the fuck out! Show yourself out the door! I never invited you! Get out, you bitch! You whore, you dick! <laughs> Mr. Sholmes came here with us. I'm quite sure he'll be able to help you, Mr. Natsume. He can help himself out the fucking door! <laughs> I'm entirely at your disposal. He can help Mr. me Mustache. by killing himself! <laughs> now! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you can hurt me by taking a, a long walk into a short barrel! <laughs> Take a, you can hurt me by taking a walk off of a cliff into a volcano into acid! <laughs> what can I do for you? For you're putting yourself at a, a in disposal of another man. <laughs> Did he just did he just fucking growl at me? Oh my god, oh, shit, I, I forgot Gregson. about Gregson! Oh, I forgot about Gregson too. Holy fuck. Um Shit. Who is Gregson? Uh that was Scout. That was a uh, Scout character. Oh my god, you're totally right. Uh, uh who's gonna fuck. be Gregson? <laughs> I can be Gregson, you want me to be Gregson? Yeah, Robbie, if you want to be Gregson. It ain't already. The busy porties. Inspector Gregson, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Wait, let me get one of, get get one of those, every bitch. Time I see you. No, no, get your hands off. Gives me awkward every time I see your face at the crime scene, Shones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you in the queue. <laughs> Are you oh, eating that out of a newspaper? It's fish and chips. You lost. I want fish and chips, too. I'm you lost what? <laughs> your way. Why? Oh! I deduce, Inspector, that your heartburn is a result of your excessive consumption of fried food. What? Good morning, um, Inspector. <laughs> uh, good morning, <laughs> Inspector. <laughs> Lol. This is a crime scene! And don't you go touching anything! Or good morning to you too, Sunshine. <laughs> they... they he looks so pissed off that there's a dead person in here. <laughs> God, he literally God. just got home. God like, he just got God. home, and it's just like, God. Uh, again? God fucking damn it. Fuck my life for real. Fuck my life. I don't care anymore. Yes, sir. I thought about killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, I said hands off. You're going to mess up the crime scene. Get those goddamn fries out of my face! Oh, um, no, I just wanted to look, that's all. No chance! I know you're kind. You'll mess it up by just looking at it! What do you mean? Ugh, someone's in a bad mood. <laughs> you know, you know what he means! There's <laughs> certainly some bad air in here, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it sounds like I'd better talk to the inspector first and try to curry some flavor. Some favor flavor? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you said make some flavor curry. Make, make you sad as Swiss for a nuclear wonger. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give me food money. Chuck rolling around the Mahabalicious. <laughs> so, Inspector, what was the victim's name? Who was he? Mr. William Shamspear. He's a lodger here. Shut the fuck! As you could probably tell, he was an actor. If a dead loss as it happens, or just dead. <laughs> Mr. Shamespear. It was landlord, old Mr. Garadir, but the other lodger, Mr. Notsume, who found him. Fell in rise up at his usual hour, so Garadir got worried and kicked the door down for some reason. What the fuck he did? With that leg? Could have just slept in. But. Doesn't Mr. Garadab have a bad leg? That I was worried that Mr. or Mrs. Garadab. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Garadab. I thought Mr. Garadab was gonna be dead here. Fucking Mac tonight looking ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right though. This jittery Japanese hunchback over there who actually did the kicking. Really? Saseki-san? 
The victim is pretty hard up, it seems. We've done some oh. time inside for petty crimes. He had no money, no place to go, and no friends. It's only acquaintance yeah, no, with the people no in his house. And no bitches, no money, no time, no job. Short, no car, broke, no hope. ran through, unemployed, streaming no trip, on Twitch. No hope, no cash. No life. Miserable life. <laughs> Miserable end. Miserable life. <laughs> So, what exactly is Mr. Natsume still doing here? He's not involved in the investigation, so shouldn't you have sent him away from the crime scene? Well, I'm not saying it's because the fellow looks old or anything, but or that he acts suspicious. I thought it would be prudent to make a statement from the culprit. I mean, cohabitor. You nearly said culprit there, didn't you? Oh, no. You nearly fucking heard the wrong thing, I think. Oh dear. Mr. Natsume appears to be under suspicion again. It certainly seems that way. He does just come across as such an odd fellow, doesn't he? Poor man. How unfortunate. Well, anyway, can't say much until, can't say much until the Corona gets here. The what? <laughs> well, I don't think the fellow's been a goner that long. Body's still warm. <laughs> Don't, don't think the fellow's been a gooner that long. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the inspector would allow it, I don't think I could bring myself to touch a dead body, pussy. Are oh, you scared? You scared? Scared little man? Did everything? Okay, everything immediately. Just Can't touch did. nothing. What a terrible thing to have happened. It's only been three days since I was arrested for the incident on the pavement outside. Oh, and then having finally regained my freedom, it starts happening all over again. Endless existence of excruciating experiences. So the victim lived here on the ground floor and your room is just one story up, isn't it? Yes, that's right. In a way, we were neighbors, I suppose. And they were neighbors. And they were neighbors. <laughs> they were neighbors. <laughs> so, did you know the victim? Were you friends? <laughs> Is that well, you, fucked in, you fucked, didn't you? You fucked. Uh, you, fu you fucked. I gripped his shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was using my hands like <laughs> I was grooving on this shit like this. <laughs> What's the matter with Saseki san now? It was an innocent enough question, wasn't it? Why does he seem so shaken by it? Well, well I, I suppose he wasn't a complete s stranger. <laughs> but he did invite me to his room? But oh, did he ever invite me to his room? N never! On my honor, I swear it! What an extreme reaction. <laughs> You're probably wishing you never asked now, aren't you, Mr. Naruhodo? When we found him here, I felt, re I felt wretched, which is why I sent word asking you to come. Through that inspector over there! <laughs> no fucking way, dude, is stand stuff like that over there. <laughs> While this shit is happening. Oh, Alfred, you missed the first game where he was hanging off of a coat rack and he was like, nobody could see me. <laughs> um, Mr. Sholmes, what are you doing? You need only to observe. Oh my god, pardon me. You need only observe to know it, my dear fellow. Investigating naturally. There's nothing natural about that pose. Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Stones, have you made some miraculous discovery? Patience, my dear madam, patience. We've not been in this room five minutes. So far, all I've managed to deduce is what actually happened. Someone died. <laughs> My goodness! Oh no, I don't know who did it, but I know exactly how it happened. What time? <laughs> what isn't isn't that everything we need to know, Mr. Sholmes? 
Hmm, now that you propose the idea, I believe one could indeed see it that way. Yes or no? <laughs> At the present time, I have managed to draw two incontrovertible conclusions. First, that there was a physical struggle here last night in which the victim fought for his life. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Natsume, what's wrong? Is something that Mr. Shum said significant somehow? No, don't mind me. Forget I was here. <laughs> my, my, what a jump scare. And my second conclusion is that there was a poison lingering in the air here last night that passed the victim's lips. Oh, more poison. <laughs> Nonsense! <laughs> Alright, Mr. Natsume, why are you reacting so extremely to Mr. Shom's deductions? N n no, p please! Pretend I'm not here! Please, for the love of God! Invisible, ineffable, inscrutable! <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck now? <laughs> Impossible to ignore. You must tell us everything, Mr. Sholmes. Spare no detail. Ellipses. No. But of course. Let the theatrical tragedy before us be unraveled by my great deductions presented by your pleasure in two acts. Oh, you get to experience this for the first time. We've heard some truly astounding great deductions from Mr. Sholmes in the past. Oh, no doubt this will be no exception. What miracles will unfold before our eyes this time. So, my dear fellows, for your delight and wonder, let the curtain rise. For Herlock Sholmes, logic and reasoning spectacular, Act 1. I will tell you ahead of time, the text will be moving very fast. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> The great deduction, the game is afoot. Topic one conclusion, cause of death. Careful observation of the victim reveals to, <clears throat> to us the event that transpired in this disconsolate room last night. From what the mouth of the deceased clearly indicates the use of poison. Next to the victim, we notice a large dining plate which contains, you will observe, one half of a sizable bar of soap, meaning indubitably. Meaningful indubitably. Why is the soap set so purposely upon the dish like the victim's last supper? In fact, yes. Could it be that the man was certain uh, about to eat it? Of course, the fork reveals the answer. <laughs> Why? Why are you looking at the camera like it's fucking FNAF? Like, <laughs> is this dude fucking serious? <laughs> it's like, there's no way, dude, was just sitting here eating soap. It appears that the young man's appetite was his undoing. That bitch was eating soap, dial soap, I might add, taking up arms and forms of his cutlery. The victim engaged in a deadly battle for his life. Yet the struggle against his hunger was in vain, for in the end, he couldn't resist devouring the slippery feast. But London's foul soap was besmirched by a foul poison. Hm. Yes, the victim's life was claimed by a poison that tainted the contents of the plate. The soap and the lather about the young man's mouth are too perfectly matched to ignore. The cause of death was clearly... Intoxication due to excessive ingestion of foul soap. Though personally, I have a greater interest in the taste of foul candle wax, of course. Hm. Poisoning from soap ingestion. <laughs> Topic number two. Suicide or murder? The cause of death identified, we proceed to act two, where we ponder the next question. Was this suicide or murder? The audience will recall that the death, that death occurred during the victim's last supper. Look at this. Did the man dine or die alone? This single teacup suggests the answer. Hmm. To draw a conclusion on such 
Meagre evidence would be meager. foolish. Such meager evidence would be foolish, however, certainly. The careful criminal could have absconded with his own cup to cover his tracks. <laughs> well, allow me to lift the veil of doubt, my dear fellow. <laughs> Indeed, what reveals the answer, of course, is the broken rock. As you recall, through forced open now, at the time of the incident, this door was locked. Hmm. And the cell key was in the victim's pocket. In other words, when the victim consumed the poison, must have been alone. Hmm. Alone with his inferior soap, and whence wafted an inferior scent. This motherfucker was hungry for real, for real. And with that acrid aroma lingering in the air, the victim met his end in tragic solitude. You can take comfort only in the fact that his soul was well cleansed on its way to the hereafter. No possible perpetrator present. All right, let's fix this shit. <laughs> hmm. Thus concludes the final act of Herlock Sholmes' great deduction. Thank you. Make sure to pay for the tickets at the door. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Each. What kind of sandwich should I get at Jersey Mike's? Oh, uh, yeah. Italian. Thinking about it. That sounds good, actually. Might get a BLT. Get a BLT. Get a BLT with the, with the olive oil and the, and the vinaigrette. Be pretty good. Get a poop sandwich. Get a poop sandwich. Poop, I guess poop. I get a, get a little bit of poop on there. The poop sandwich. Let me get some poop on there. What? Nick is just over here munching and crunching. You jealous? Yes! Let me get a bit! Nah. Fuck you. There's just one thing, Mr. Sholmes. You are disposed to identifying just one thing, aren't you, Mr. Naruhodo? Pray, what concerns you? What's so different, hmm? What well, happened? No matter how hungry he was, do you really think the man would have eaten soap? He had no money. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody around. He had no money for food. Oh, yes, I think he might have taken a bite of soap, maybe. It is quite apparent that this man had barely a penny to his name. It is a curious thing, but to one so destitute, soap can suddenly appear quite irresistibly appetizing. I know if my ass was broke and I hadn't eaten in days, <laughs> I'd take a bite of soap. <laughs> so I know my hungry ass could not have stayed in this lodging. <laughs> How extraordinary. In truth, I've tried a lot. Oh in truth, I have tried a little soap myself in the past. Just a little? You've eaten it, you mean? My dear fellow, it was some time ago now. My postulation was that it would cleanse my gut. I, I, I ate soap one time. One. <laughs> I, I ate soap. I thought it would clean my. I thought it would clean my stomach. And did it? As I writhed in agony on the floor and split the contents of my stomach. Yeah, I believe it did. <laughs> it worked. The experience taught me a valuable lesson. Soap is quite poisonous. Oh, Iris, look! Look, it's out! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> oh, now get some it... more soap, please, for cleaning the floor. <laughs> it has an unpleasant taste and leads to great discomfort. In summary, I cannot recommend it. Don't eat soap! Believe me, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't eat it even if you did. Bro, bro would have eaten a fucking Tide Pod. <laughs> There's something that troubles me as well, actually. Oh, what's that? It's Mr. Natsume. What, what? Oh! I couldn't help noticing him shuddering and quivering out of the corner of my eye. Almost as if Mr. Sholm's deductions touched a nerve somehow. Nonsense! 
Well, that clenched teeth episode didn't last. I think, judging by Mr. Natsume's reaction, the great detective's deductions may need some gentle corrections in order to reach the actual truth. Yes, Mr. Shom's observations and deductions are sometimes a little too sharp. He has a tendency to hit the nail on the side of the head and drive it at an obtuse angle. When he does that, it, it falls to us to straighten things out. Alright then, let's see what we can do. Yes, we must pick out the key words in Mr. Sholm's quite brilliant deductions. And discreetly exchange them for something that makes a little more sense. If we can do that... I'm sure we'll arrive at what Mr. Sholm's meant to say in the first place. In that case, are you ready for the second performance of the day? Once again, my dear fellows, for your continued delight and wonder, let the curtain rise. For Herlock Sholm's logic and reasoning spectacular act one. Monkey? Oh! <laughs> Quack. Quay. Quay, why don't you? What up, Koo? Thank you for the raid. I'm 71. <laughs> I was Final yeah. Fantismo. What up? We're on game two, case two. By the way, if you don't want spoilers for Great Ace Attorney. Great Ace Attorney. Great Ace Attorney in Britain. Great Ace Attorney. Don't look back there. There's a dead guy. <laughs> yeah, there's a dead guy back there. I fought. I fought that made me want to shit. I fought that made me want want me to shit my pants. What? I got I got put more rebirth. Fought a boss that made me want to shit my pants. I gotta figure out when to buy rebirth. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. You already played the game. Just play the original one. That's right. <laughs> I want to I I go on the new improved Tifa date. I want to go on the new improved Tifa date and feel like that she's I, actually my I girlfriend. I want to see Tifa doing sit-ups. <laughs> I want to take Aerith to the Golden Saucer. And that shit is ridiculous. Have her kiss me on the mouth. Open mouth. Course correction. Hold it, Mr. Sholmes. <laughs> cool. right, guys, man. you fucking go live. <laughs> Shut up, fucking coo. Blah 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 blah. This bitch ate soap. Blah 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 blah. Oh god. Thank you for shouting out, coo. <laughs> but I have studies. Well, you can't deny that a fork implies the man was eating something or about to eat something. Yes, that's true. The, the text box over his eyes is scarier. He's still scared. <laughs> <laughs> If I were to decide to eat some soap, I should prefer to use a fork than to attempt it with chopsticks. And of course, only half of the bar of soap is left on the plate. But might there not be some other explanation? Something material that proves whether or not the man really ate some soap? The victim really eats some soap. Is there any proof that the man ate the soap? Is it maybe... <laughs> maybe it's the other piece of soap lying <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Bro, he ate... Other piece of soap. <clears throat> Could it be that the man was about to eat it? Of course. The other piece of soap reveals the answer. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Here you go, Sholmes. It being the other half of the soap on the table, in short, the victim was not eating soap at all. But it's obvious, really, for no death of hunger could drive any man to attempt to eat soap. <laughs> Even I, with my unquenchable thirst for practical knowledge, took only a single bite. But that begs the question of how the man was poisoned. Because there's no sign of any food on the table. Why the fuck does Shums have printer ink on the side of his fucking belt? 
Uh, it's for uh, blood. One of his. Yeah, it's blood. No, it's um. There's a fucking device that you use in uh, in the at the end of the first game. That's like you use it with you use different colors for like some old timey like fingerprint scanner. Hmm. An excellent observation, Mr. Narihodo, and one that furnishes us with the answers we seek. For London, for yeah, London's yeah, foul soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes is still pushing the soap argument, then. Perhaps he's suggesting the man licked the soap rather than ate it. If soap in London is that poisonous, I don't think I want to be washing my hands with it. But there are no signs of any food in this room at all. Of course, food isn't the only thing that passes people's lips, is it? Yeah, there's dick. Okay. <laughs> the All I'm saying is, he said he's never been in the room, but there's definitely like a hole drilled in the wall. You know what I mean? They know each other very <laughs> right, well. Right. Yeah. Yes, the victim's life was claimed by poison that tainted the teacup. Indeed, cups have been the vessel of. Indeed, cups have been the vessel of choice for practicing poisoners over the centuries. And it would appear that the victim drank every last drop. There's no sign of food anywhere in the room. <laughs> Which leads us to the immutable conclusion. He's like, oh, they're cooking, they're cooking my ass. It's all there. <laughs> The cause of death was clearly intoxication due to the ingestion of poison contained in this teacup. Nah, -uh. poison. <laughs> Fuck poison that shit. in the tea. Solved. 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 Next. Suicide uh, murder. Next. That was all banana. I just burned. <laughs> Whenever, if I do ever like make chapter, I want to figure out how people do the fucking like dialogue noises where it's just someone going or, 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 or like <laughs> just a bop, 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 It's usually bop, bop. like samples taken from like a sentence or two of dialogue. That's how they did it for Minna and Twilight Princess. Ah, the Went blind for a second. What are we talking about? Yeah, sorry. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I ah. shouldn't speak her name. I know it's it's gonna. <laughs> the Western vessel for infused hot drinks again. It's already featured heavily in our deduction so far. Yes, we can imagine that shortly before his death, Mr. Shamspear was having a drink of tea. Dev's perfect Kazooie voice. Yeah, that's true. Dev does have the perfect Kazooie voice. Yeah, like what the fuck. I ask because he wouldn't fucking do the board. <laughs> but you. there would be nothing remarkable. Up <laughs> you done? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there would be nothing remarkable about that. But what troubles me is Mr. Natsume's reaction when he heard Mr. Sholmes suggest it. There's more to this deduction than it seems. You must closely examine the scene of the crime again for some more clues. The other teacup. Tea <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did the man dine and dine and die alone? This other teacup suggests the answer. Yes, there were two teacups in this room all along. In other words, mm hmm. <laughs> this is a strong indication that at the victim's last supper, there was a guest present. At the very least, we can say now that with certainty that somebody else was here in the room last night taking tea with the victim. They were talking tea. What are you? What are you talking about? 
utterly unbelievable, unjustly unreasonable. Oh shit, bars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm spinning that shit and I'm cooking my shit. <laughs> I'm cooking my shit and I'm killing this shit. To draw a conclusion on such meager evidence would be foolish, however certain. In which case, what more can we deduce about this possible guest at the table? Well, allow me to lift the veil of doubt, my dear fellow. Oh, God. Do you mean to say you know who exactly was in this room at the time of the victim's death? Indeed. What reveals the answer, of course, is the broken lock. <laughs> I'm not sure I like where this deduction is going now. I'm afraid it's too late to go back to the halcyon days of eating too much soap. But the identity of the guest who was in here last night when the victim passed away is... is something I have a very bad feeling about. Well, you can try to ignore your feelings, but we cannot ignore the truth, Mr. Naruhodo. No, I suppose not. Time to look around again. Don't forget, you can examine stuff. You don't have to just present it. Yeah. Oh dear, the latch is most definitely broken, isn't it? The door was kicked in by Mr. Natsume, according to what Mr. Garadeb told the inspector. Who knew his short, thin little legs had so much strength in them? I'm not sure the length of his legs is in any way significant here. Perhaps it says more about the poor state of the door than about Mr. Natsume's strength, actually. Careful. If he overheard that remark, he'd almost certainly have a lively response. I don't know. Can this broken lock really tell us anything about who's here? No. What can tell us, however, is this, maybe, or the books. It's empty. Empty of liquid, but full of air! That makes you think, doesn't it? It makes me think that you're full of hot air. We should be thinking about who else was in the room at the time. Bother. Sasan's quip <laughs> in response was cleverer than my original riddle. Uh, let's check who checked these books out. At first glance, it seems that the only things in this room are the makeshift stage and the costumes. I overlooked uh, these three books initially. I wonder what they are. Let's see. The titles read... The picture of Monsieur Le, Le Croix? Le, Le Hawk? <laughs> Le Hawk? <laughs> Canterbury, Canterbury Yearnings. And a meal for Gabriel. Wait, I'm sure I've heard those titles before. It could just be an incredible coincidence, but... They're the exact same three books that Mr. Natsume purchased the other day. What? Yes, on the day of the unfortunate incident when Miss Green was stabbed, Saseki-san had just been to a bookshop and bought them. That's right. And now those three titles are here in the room of the victim. Yet Mr. Natsume claims never to have been here before. What? What does this mean, do you think? I really don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Familiar books. <laughs> I hey, remember that. these. Oh. Indeed. What reveals the answer, of course, is the pile of familiar books. Quite so. It's no mere coincidence that these three titles are here in this room. It's the link to the truth. I didn't play that Zelda game. <laughs> ah! Also, sorry, it's a, uh, it's, 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 it's more pronounced like cock. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah. Mr. Natsume, you purchased these books four days ago at, at a secondhand bookshop. That's just a, a, a coincidence. In any case, you will be able to bring the same three tiles from your own room, will you not? Titles? Titles. This very moment! No! Never! Non-negotiable! 
If you can't bring your own copies here, it proves that these three books are in fact yours. Having purchased the books four days ago and returned to your lodgings, you were arrested the very next day. So you could conceivably have brought the books here. <laughs> Blows the fuck up in the, in the jail. <laughs> it's for his, it's for his, yeah, his mug shot. He's like, let me get my good side. So you could have conceivably have brought the books here on that even, but you never mentioned that. In other words, you could only have brought these three books here to the victim's room. He hit the dab? What the fuck? Damn, he's uh, words. <laughs> Last night, having returned to your yeah, home, I the see. trial concluded. At the old Bailey. Afrophoria, thank you for the follow. <laughs> King Crimson. <laughs> uh, um, uh, uh, In short, there is only one possible conclusion. The victim died here in this the victim died here in this room last night as a result of poisoning. <laughs> From eating soap! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> and that same night, the victim had a visitor. And that visitor! We have to get ready. Yep. <laughs> Was you, you Mr. Mr. Soseki, Soseki Natsume! Natsume. That concludes the final act of Herlock Shum's Great Deduction. Was that a slam? Did you hear that? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the people upstairs. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, you're about to overhear a murder. Sorry, I was pooping. Elementary. Oh, okay. <laughs> I shot that shit out like a cannonball. <laughs> My just, bowels go crazy. You just lean over, you have the door open to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Seki's about to shit right now. Not again, not again, not again! NOT AGAIN! Sorry, I was looking at my order for my BLT. Estimated arrival 846, my leg. Big luscious tits. What? You can get those now? You can get those on, on DoorDash? <laughs> Is that true? Is that true? Is that true? I don't have DoorDash. <laughs> I got Uber Eats. Did I get DoorDash? <laughs> well then, Mr. Not CD. You better be, you're gonna have to accompany me down to the ad. Again. But, 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 but wait! Hold your horses! Yeah? Door, key, locked, entry, exit, entirely impossible. He's so flustered he's being even stranger than normal. What? Oh, you think that's an alibi? He could have just made a coffee. What? You live in the same building after all. He had plenty of opportunity, I'm sure. <laughs> the White Reaper comes from Soseki once again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 this white devil Herlock Jones! <laughs> that oh. cracker menace comes from far <laughs> off. Oh. No, they call them biscuits over there. Right, yeah. That brute biscuit. <laughs> but. Misery me! Sorry, sir. I get your chance to give your side of the story later. Honestly, at this point, just kill me. Okay. I just fuck it. I just fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck it. What? That speak for themselves, Mr. Mustache. Ugh, you, you, you horrible. Oh, he really has found himself an arch rival now, hasn't he? Come on now, new dilly dallying. Outside. It's a carriage waiting. Welcome to Mr. Naruhodo Esquire! I... I never imagined I'd be in this position again, but... What? What? 
You have to help me, please, please. I'm innocent. <sighs> All right, I understand. We'll come to your cell later and talk about it. And one more thing. Oh, uh, yes. My, my poor little kitty cat. Please give him his breakfast for me. Can we take your cat? And so. No, no. I think I think Wagahai had like kitties or something. Uh, I don't his, remember. His evil curse still apparently unbroken. So Seki-san found himself once again the prime suspect in a case of murder. Again. Thanks to the incriminating deduction of the great detective. My dear fellow, that honor belongs to you. Before we stole his cat, uh. That's true. That's true. If Naruto didn't, like, open up his mouth, uh, they would have just thought that the victim killed himself. <laughs> well, at least that means Inspector Gregson is no longer here. We can examine the crime scene in more detail now. Yes, that's right. Uh, and of course. What? Have you forgotten what the inspector mentioned before? It was the landlord, Mr. Garadev, who discovered Mr. Shamspear. Yay! Yippee! Ah, uh, Mr. John Garadev, yes. I expect we can find him in his sitting room on the top floor as usual. Yippee! Right, I must remember to go and talk to him later then. Let's examine. I'll be right back. Oh, that's fine. Uh, oh, now we get to fucking poke around and touch shit. Now I get to touch stuff. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, I guess I can chill. Uh, chat. I'm making streaming a priority. So if you want to support me, there's Kofi, or you can sub to the you can sub to Twitch because there's gonna be some changes coming. Some good, some kind of lame, but it is what it is. Or if you want to buy me bullshit, there's my throne. Whatever works for you. Or if you're just watching the stream, that helps as well. Viewer numbers help me keep stuff. the stream keep the stream going. Buy me stuff. Support Jackson today. I got stuff. Y'all should watch ads. Y'all should watch ads. I don't run ads. You got run ads. Yes. So that that was one of the things that might be coming. That's kind of shitty. Is that I'm gonna have to conform a little bit and start running ads. Or if you're sub, you don't have to get ads. So starting Monday, I'm don't you have to, ads. Don't you have to run ads? Like it's like, it's like permanent. Like you can't turn it off. Not the way I do it. How do you do it? Tell me. I don't uh, turn off ads. I I space them out as far as possible, and then I have a warning thing that comes up, and I just I manually like be like, hey, don't run this ad. So See, I'm, I don't even get the warning. I constantly am like declining ads, trying to make sure people don't have to run them but fuck it oh Just yeah on ads. oh yeah i don't know if my code is still working on throne but because i'm a throne partner i guess i have a code at checkout that gives me 10 percent off my throne orders so i don't know if it's still valid or not oh but yeah i'm gonna be making more shit i'm committed full time now to this i've all of yesterday, I sat and I made an entire, like, game plan and, like, info web of how I want to maybe pursue things and do things for the future. Mm -hmm. And every little bit helps. Tried doing the throne thing, but it no work. Ah, oh, that's okay, then. There's no 10% off, but if you want to give me something on throne, it is what it is. If not, chill out. Enjoy the stream. We're... We're... We're, we're chilling. We're, we're sitting. We're doing whatever. How was your week, Robbie? Uh, I got really into arms. Oh, really? No. Fuck you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Am I still pursuing voice acting? Yeah, no, fuck what Robbie's talking about. Yeah, no, I'm still gonna pursue voice acting. What did you actually do then, besides get my hopes up? Uh, yesterday was... Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Oh! I played Fortnite all day so that I oh. could get Peter Griffin and Solid Snake. Did you? I did. Good job. Uh, I, got, I wanted Old Snake really bad. I was like, it was, I think like the second to last match until the servers went offline, I got Old Snake. Let's go. When's the arm stream? Tomorrow. I'm gonna for, I'm gonna force myself into Robbie's stream and play arms with him. Uh, I'm not playing arms, bro. No, you're not playing arms. 
Are you you're not going out with us tomorrow, are you? Uh, I, are you going out tomorrow? <laughs> uh, we will talk after stream because somebody is coming into the city and they said that they were going to talk to a bunch of people to go into the city tomorrow. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. They did reach out to me and I, I said, give me more info when you get it. So yeah, we'll they see. haven't, they haven't given me that info either. Um, oh well. Alfred, how was your week? Uh, other than my stomach randomly, like... <laughs> Exploding. Going through, uh, ex yeah, going through hell because I guess I just ate too fast. Uh, my fucking shit's been chill. I'm uh, still needing to work on a lot of stuff for MomoCon. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think what happened. This didn't happen this week, but a while ago I finished Jujutsu Kaisen or the season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. I still need to like actually read it. Oh, so you caught up um, to the anime? Yeah. Um, what else? And I want to watch more Dungeon Meshi. Uh, oh right, an episode came out yesterday. I need a Senshi statue now <laughs> i mean the the nendo is coming out for senji oh no i know i like i it, it, there's like uh there's the nendo but i saw that like uh i think it's in like devon chat that there was like mars is it Mar marcel 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 yeah is getting you know marcel is getting uh, a statue and i'm like okay this but give me senji <laughs> I'm I'm sure that like Good Smile is gonna jump on it and do like figures of all of them because Dungeon Meshi is ever since the anime came out it just fucking ramped up in popularity. Yeah, but other than that, I'll just different shit that's like happened this week. Dungeon Dungeon Meshi um, stuff. Yeah, other than that, it's just been like thinking about like different shit of like making this comic, making a game. Having different ambitions, all these fucking ambitions of shit that I want to fucking do. Mm -hmm. Uh, the usual blah blah blah. No, I feel you. Uh, we went to a game store today and they had a pop up parade statue of Miles Edgeworth, and I almost like dropped everything to get it. Yeah, oh, those pop up parades are <sighs> tantalizing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> Robbie, what happened? No, I pop up parades. I think they started doing it with uh, what's that fucking anime? It's not too rah rah rah. It's the other pervert anime. Um, they started doing those a while ago as a alternative so to figures. Um, uh, fucking no. I th I think I know exactly yeah, what you're talking size. about. I know. But I'm trying to think of anime. They used to be the same size as Figma's because they wanted to like make statue figures that like fit in line with the other figmas that you have but they've spun off so much i think they've just gotten bigger and bigger and now they're just their own like oh yeah no default final figure line they look so good pop-up pop-ups are completely different now and like uh i turn around and look at my shelf at my fucking jolene one uh <laughs> it's it's the anime the figure is of uh i think her name is shinobu she's the the little girl with like a pilot hat she wears like a dress and it's from the anime where there was like an extended toothbrushing fetish scene. That's the oh, those are the only two things I remember about that anime. I, oh god, I feel like I know what you're talking about, but the name evades me. It, what? It, it's not Durarara because I always mix it up with that. Monogatari. Something Monogatari. Yes, yes. Little garter. That's the one. I thought. I thought like the first pop-up parade was that fucking uh the other pervert anime, like the Killing Game one with like the Yondari girl and the cell phone and shit. No, no. The, I'm pretty sure the first pop-up parade was Shinobu from Monogatari. Almost I'm, positive. I only know about the toothbrushing scene as well. I <laughs> it's no the only thing I know about the anime. Yeah, I just no know about Shinobu and the toothbrushing, toothbrushing scene. You're Nikki. Yeah, Rumpel, sure. You fucking perverts. I thought, yeah, I thought Mira and Nikki got, like, Future Diary got, like, one of the first pop-ups. I think it was Shinobu. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, we were talking about our week, though, so if you want to... How was your week? Uh, it 
was good. It was chill. Okay. Do anything interesting or just chill out? Uh, not really. I've kind of just been playing a fuck ton of uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> nah, that's fair. Oh. What chapter you at? Uh, fuck, what chapter is it? Uh, eight? I think. Oh my god. Okay, you're deep. Oh, so you're oh yeah. Like, no, I've been... you're, you're like 10% done with the game. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, oh, my sandwich eight. is about to arrive, so I'm going to wait outside. You can do this scene. I'm most likely not in it. Right. <laughs> All right. Game's good. I'll get it when I can because I was chomping at the bit for it. And then after the job incident thing, I was like, I'm going to cancel my pre-order on it. So that way I'm not blowing through like yeah, a bunch of money. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, I'm looking at a shard What's on the this? floor right now. Yeah, what? What's this? Oh, fear farting. Thank you for the sub for nine months. <laughs> I appreciate it. Fear farting. It looks like part of an envelope, I think. Yes, I think you may be right. Perhaps it was torn off when the letter was opened. Is that significant? Well, it's a little out of place, perhaps. When you look around the room, there's no sign of a letter or the rest of the envelope, in fact, is there? Ah, she's right. And yet here we have the torn off end of an envelope. It just strikes me as unusual. I agree. We better take this, just in case. The tour of the novel, but I have been added in the court record. Uh, I searched the Monogaro and I found the scene. What the fuck? I don't know what it is, and I don't want to look it up. So, uh, Godspeed, Warrior. What brand? It's egregious. Of, what brand of dryer balls did you get, by the way? I don't know. I would have to like physically grab them off the top of my dryer to tell you. Did you get those things that like scent your clothes? No, I got like the silicone like dryer balls because our dryer kind of sucks shit. And like it helps with like making your clothes uh, like get basically like just like defluffed and and dry faster. What's all these? What's all these things? Shit! They cut the BLT in the fours, bro. Oh yeah, no, you got if you got like the big ass jersey mics, like large. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna eat that shit like Scooby Doo style, just. <laughs> I don't even fucking eat a scooby doo now, bitch. What? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What? <laughs> There's not much on these shelves, is there? It's just this wine glass and bottle. And both of them are cracked. Absolutely cracked. I'm cracked! <laughs> I'm cracked! <laughs> yes, not much use, are they? Oh, what's the matter? Oh, I was just reminded of the Reaper. That's... <laughs> uh, Prosecutor Lord Van Zeeks. I remember him! Yes, he's so reckless with his wine glasses. I was thinking it's a waste and that he should donate some to the needy. You can suggest it next time we meet. What is this big fuck off goddamn costume? That's the guy from... um. Digital Circus. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fucking, uh... <laughs> I forgot what that character's name is. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, Gooseworks. You watch him? <laughs> Greatest attorney stole your shit. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> I I'd sue. <laughs> <laughs> but don't call me, Stu. I'll be right back. Don't choke. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Look at these extravagant bright costumes. Somehow they look out of place in this room with its grim, shady going ons. This one looks like a king's attire. A king? I always dreamt of being a king. Oh, I think you'd be more suited to a feudal lord, a daimyo, or such like. <laughs> the Chom Mage Top Knot? Every Japanese man wishes he had a Chom Mage. Oh, you'd look wonderful with one! And you already have the sword. Can you imagine what would happen if I walked around the streets of London with a John Mage and a sword? Sorry, the, fleet, <laughs> the streets of what? Streets of London. It's been, it's been, it's been four months. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> As we've seen from the outside, the window is completely... <laughs> Say it! <laughs> 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 Jag. No, I have to. I have to. I have to. Force, I have to force myself. Otherwise, it's just gonna get worse. <laughs> As we've seen from the outside, the window is completely bricked up. <laughs> it's one. <wide. laughs> A vestige of the former window tax that Britain had to pay. What strange things they used to tax in Great Britain. In Great Britain. Britain. I mean, Britain. I, 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 I mean, making people pay for the number of windows they had in a property? It's extraordinary. It's heartbreaking to think of the poor having to block up their windows just to avoid an unaffordable tax. Mm. Yeah, who'd have thunk? Oh! What is it, Mrs. Sato? If you look closely, a number of the bricks are loose. Mmm! Why the fuck? Oh yes. What? Looks, looks as though an amateur has broken out a few of them just here. Was it Mr. Shamspear who did it? I wonder. Being the lodger renting this room. Oh, look at this, Mr. Naruhodo. This isn't soap. On the outside, there's a little ledge, and there's something on it. What outside? That's not soap. That's what. It what is it, then? <laughs> it's so cold outside. You can feel it through this gap. I... Part of me thinks... Mm -hmm. That it, it might not be so... I think they're selling or, like, bootlegging something. They might be bootlegging, like... I was gonna say, because it looks like the shit that was on the table. So I'm yeah. Thinking, like, what... Mm. It did snow all last night. It would be cold. But more importantly... What is it, oh, what is it on the ledge out there? What are those snow-covered lopes? It's, it's more... Oh, that's more, you! Fuck! Fuck! I did it's it! It's more bars of soap! Fuck! 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 It's over. No! The stream's over. No! Over. <laughs> I haven't done it once! It's a, no! It's over. It's over. Fuck. It's so over. Oh my god. Oh! And that's the end of stream. Oh my god. This is and so you're, you're done. Oh. <laughs> uh, scammer gets scam. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm so. Oh. It's okay. Soap? What are bars of soap doing lined up on a ledge outside the window? I have no idea. But the pair of them look rather charming like that. Still, that's very strange, isn't it? Bars of soap lined up outside the window? I think perhaps we should take one. There are two, after all. Oh dear. I, I suppose we could. Oh, what's this? Look here at this soap. Ah! Do you see? In the middle there? What, what the fuck is that? There's a patch that's a different color. It's it's sort of transparent, but some sort of fancy design, I suppose. Only in Koi Paint. It looks like the Hinamaru flag of Japan, doesn't it? How wonderful! Oh, oh my God! Are they smuggling gunpowder? Are they <laughs> smuggling opium or gunpowder in soap? Because it hides the smell. Are they smuggling sulfur in soap because it hides the smell? <laughs> Wait. It's probably a very expensive brand. I don't know. Expensive? And what's it doing in this ramshack old room? The bar soap has been under the court record. Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back. <sighs> we found soap. Okay, guys. Oh. There's literally. Hey guys. <laughs> literally found some soap in the uh yeah found some soap in the window and one we'll of them just has this shit this uh, one we can make him <laughs> what you can the look fuck at it if, if you're curious 
This part is a different color. It's an exquisite design, isn't it? Trust the British to turn a boring bar of soap into something special. I quite like it. It reminds me of the Hinamaru design of the Japanese flag. I expect this is rather expensive soap. That doesn't seem likely, given who it belongs to. Huh. I, I, I think they're smuggling shit, because that looks like... forced in there. <laughs> What the what fuck? D fuck. <sighs> Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Oh my god. Oh my god. You do the yeah. do, bro? Of course I'm doing the do. What do I look like? Robbie Dew. True. Okay, so. Robbie True. Robbie True. <laughs> so this is where the first murder happened, right? With Miss Green. Yep. Okay. People are getting stabbed. There's poison and soap. What the fuck is going on out here? This is nor it's a normal day in the fucking UK. Everybody gets stabbed all the time. Whoever opened this envelope didn't bother with a letter opener or scissors, did they? <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens when you have no gun. <laughs> <laughs> what else he supposed to fucking do? Yes, whoever opened it was clearly someone with an unrefined temperament. And judging from the angle of the rip here, the person in question must have been right-handed. Mrs. Sato! I think perhaps someone's been reading too much of the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. You can never read too much of it, Mr. Naruhodo! Never! <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Don't say that shit again! <laughs> uh... Dude, I like being that guy. Well, too bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just going, womp womp. Died. Died. Short. <laughs> broke. Well, no bitches. Well, well Elso. <laughs> it's like you didn't even say it, but like, I'm just, you didn't say that, but it's like, I, it, made, oh. it made me want to just go like, uh, womp womp. <laughs> She's only 20 this Oh, well, there's woman. other characters. Check the check the fucking clips of this fucking channel. That character has one of the top viewed clips. This poor Is that woman. True? It was, one of it's them. definitely one of the top ones of uh, Great Ace Attorney. Yeah, one of the top ones of Great Ace Attorney. It's like number seventeen or something in like the full clip rotation of the channel. It's like two, maybe one. She should have been at the maybe club. One. <laughs> she should have been at the club. <laughs> And here we have another disproportionately large machine. This looks like a meter of some kind. <laughs> she was studying the fine art. She should have been bouncing that fine ass. <laughs> <laughs> Not, <laughs> on Women's Day, she got stabbed in the back. Should have been getting back shots. <laughs> on Women's Day. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love women. Don't call them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I love bitches. What are you uh, talking about? This is a gas meter, I think. <laughs> it seems that in this district, residents pay for gas as they use it with coins. Ah, I see. Yes, now you've pointed it out. I can see that there's a slot just here that looks like it would take a coin. So you mean, even if you put a coin in here? That's right. That would buy you about two hours of gas for lights and heating. So, if you were a poor person with no money, you'd have to sleep in the freezing cold? Yes, or if you were a scatterbrain with no change because you forgot to exchange your money at the bank. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Thank goodness there's no meter in our office. What a dystopian future that would be if we kept those around. I'm sure it will be a lot better. Yeah, things will change, right? Uh... Sorry, hold on. My fucking upstairs neighbor just slammed down something super hard and scared me. Now you oh. don't even need pennies or coins anymore. They just no. take it out from your account directly. No, we use Sometimes funny. Too much. We use funny fake points on funny fake accounts. Oh my god! Don't we don't even call it dollars anymore. It's called credits. 
I... It's... I, I know it's inside. I still need to get a fucking credit card. Uh, you do Alfred! <laughs> we talked uh, about this! Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got to get a credit card, bro. <laughs> I don't, want to, I don't want to play this stupid fucking game. I know. I know. I don't, I don't want to play I, this dumb, this I really, hate it. really stupid fucking game that they want you to play. So that your fucking, your, your fucking, uh, your, your EXP points go up. So that way you can like get a car or a house. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think it's so stupid. I don't know. It is. Chat. If you want to help me put coins into my gas meter, Kofi.com. <laughs> Kofi.com. <laughs> yeah, for, for yeah, Lumber for, Jackson. Yeah, for my for my RP stream where I'm a, a poor uh, British poor, child poor in, the in the in the early 1900s. <laughs> poor freezing Victorian lad ASMR stream. This is a gas wall light, isn't it? It must be connected to a gas pipe in the wall. Gas lights, a gas stove. London really is a city of gas. Yeah, full of hot fucking air. They even call mid gas here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But now that I think about it, Mr. and Mrs. Garadab had an open fire on the top floor, didn't they? Awesome. Oh, yes, you're right. I don't recall seeing a gas stove up there. Well, I much prefer a real fire anyway. It's so much, it, it's so much cozier. This has to be the most, has to be the most mid <laughs> blunt that I've ever had in my life. Pass that shit again. <laughs> do not just <laughs> Do not do not let <laughs> Mr. Sholmes roll that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that shit's gonna <laughs> Mr. Narahodo, it's look, little... it's just as big as a newspaper. <laughs> oh my god. This is some sort of makeshift stage, I think, isn't it? Where does the audience sit, though, for the nightly Shakespeare performances? So they could say Shakespeare, but his name's yeah. Shamspear. Yeah, because he's a sham. <laughs> Did he look like Shakespeare to you? I. Uh, for context, his Japanese name was uh, was William Pretensi. Yeah. Why did they keep that? Actors aspiring to the great stage must practice their art, Mr. Naruhodo, with or without an audience. In fact, on a related note, perhaps you should set up a mock bench for the defense in your office. What? Then you could practice your art every single day. That's what Jimmy does in Better Call Saul. You've watched Better Call Saul, right, Mr. Naruhodo? I haven't watched Better Call Saul. On your you television? You haven't watched Better Call Saul? <laughs> I've never, I, have, I, have, I haven't seen an episode of Better Call Saul, though. No. I th honestly, that's crazier than like me not getting a credit card yet. You haven't gotten a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I've only seen like a bit of the first season of like Better Call Saul. So I think I just haven't. You seen haven't the last finished. Episode watching of the <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen Breaking Bad. I've seen Breaking Bad. I've seen Breaking Bad multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh my god! Oh. I haven't wow. finished Better Call Saul. No credit card. So Sam Shamspear died the same way Romeo, I mean Roman and Ju Juliana died. Yeah. I'll think about it. If you promise to don a beard and play the role of the judge. Well, if if that would help you achieve your goal. <laughs> this I have to say, <laughs> I have got. To get a load of this. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? What Isn't about him? It? Yeah, maybe I guess. No victim. Oh, the poor man. So young to die. Do you suppose it was a very painful death? Being poisoned as he was? Yeah, probably. I don't know. All we can do now is hope that he'll be reborn to a better life. Did this? I'm um, never mind. I was gonna say something because my my brain is wired this way, but I'm gonna withhold. Okay. Yes, I suppose you're right. I wonder. Withhold these nuts. Do you think that putting our hands together in a Japanese prayer will help a British soul? No. No, it makes him go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes him go down faster. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> yeah. He's already going there. <laughs> Sorry. I made sure I had a reference at the ready for just such an occasion as this, actually. This book is entitled The Beginner's Guide to Praying for the Departed, The British Way. I'll just reread it now. One moment. There's quite a spine on that book, isn't there? That's it? You're not, you're not gonna believe this. There was a man named Jesus Christ. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> Naruhodo-san, have you ever heard of Jesus? <laughs> Storm series. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. A new location has been added. Mr. Garadab. Let's go check out the Garadabs. Jesus. Jesus. 21st of February, the Garadome's room. Yo, that, yo, that cannon, though. <laughs> yeah, that cannon's kind of... Last time we saw it, it wasn't looking so... so uh, like, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. Here we are again, the eccentric landlord's eccentric top floor abode. We're here because Mr. Garadab's the one who discovered the incident this morning. Don't forget. Mm. Ah, you chaps, eh? Uh, yes, good morning, sir. Thank you for your cooperation in court yesterday. It was quite a trial. I don't remember how to do his fucking voice. That's like that. As much for Mr. Garadab as anyone, really. Mm. Came straight back here after all that business at the Bailey yesterday. Mm. Didn't expect to wake up to more bully nonsense this morning. <laughs> Don't dip that shit in your coffee. I wonder if you wouldn't mind telling us exactly what happened, Mr. Garadab? I say this every time and do it perfectly every time. I don't think I do. Yes, I suppose you'd like to know all about that dead loss of an actor chap in the ground floor room. Those were exactly Inspector Ger uh, Gregson's words, weren't they? Hmm. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go again. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just get my wife to clean it. Uh, oh no! <laughs> it usually helps. Look at this fucking. PYT in the Sexy corner. <laughs> There's a single PYC? apron. This PYC, this pretty young cannon. There's a, <laughs> There's a single apron drying on that enormous cannon-shaped clothes horse. Look. Are you down with OGG? <laughs> Other guy's gun? <laughs> oh, I got gunpowder all over my hands. <laughs> oh, oh, your hands, okay. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Naruhodo, that's a real cannon. It's a what? I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> I knew that. Mm, piece of history that has seen plenty of action on the battlefield, I can tell you. And off. <laughs> and off. <laughs> <laughs> now the old girl and I are just enjoying the peace and quiet of retirement together. Mm, yes. This <laughs> Look at this shit. Guy looks like it's Mac tonight. Could, this guy looks like he could like, if he had a power, it would like, be like taking his head off and throwing it like a boomerang and then it going back to his neck. <laughs> oh yeah, could, this motherfucker is this motherfucker is playing decap attack. If this guy jumped off a cliff, he would just come back. <laughs> he would just he'd spin right back up. <laughs> oh, <tiger. laughs> just, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Hello. Hello, I'm back. Mm. Oh my god. And of course, she'd come in handy if the enemy decided to launch an attack again. Is there a war going on that I don't know about? Yes! Probably. Some, might, some a war, maybe. Uh, you know, there's <laughs> many different words for what we would call it around this time. It's, it might be some kind of great battle. Oh, a copy of Rant's magazine. The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes is being read all over London. Isn't it wonderful? 
Uh, naturally, one asks oneself if such a singular detective could really exist. Mm. Oh. <coughs> but having met the chap, it's undeniable. He is most certainly singular. Singularly dangerous. That's genuine public opinion for you, Miss Asano. Perhaps it should be reflected in the stories? Make no mistake, Mr. Narahodo. I intend to snuff out the sort of public opinion we just heard personally. I'm starting to see where Mr. Shom's uh, <laughs> untainted reputation comes from now. Ba -ba -ba, your fucking uniform, brother. That's your military uniform, isn't it, Mr. Garadeb? Well, ceremonial garb, yes. I've been hanging on the wall ever since my retirement bash. Not in active service now, you know. Oh, it doesn't mean much to me anymore. You could have the old thing if you wanted it. Well, it might suit Lord Van Zeeks, perhaps. An overly ostentatious outfit like this could be just what he needs. Very tactful, Mr. Sato. Very tactful indeed. You just got live shells on well, the that, uh, Well, oh. that outfit when we fought the Yanks, and then we won, I think. <laughs> we won some kind of war. I don't, I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> too many... Too, too much so ringing much in the ears. <laughs> so too much ringing in the ears is tossing my brain a bit. <laughs> Can we talk about the giant bullets for the giant gun? <laughs> that, that motherfucker oh yeah, just carry. mortar shells just sitting on the fucking mantle? That's plan B. <laughs> Back then. Ah, uh, yes. Those enormous mortar shells. It's quite something seeing them up close, isn't it? Didn't you say something about firing them into the barracks, Mr. Garadeb? The B stands for British. Ah, you remember, do you? Just a little mishap that occurred during training one day. Plan B. What are you doing firing on your own men? The captain bellowed at me. I'm not surprised. A little mishap doesn't really do it justice, does it? Well, one has these little incidents when one's a hot-headed young private. Perhaps I should put some evidence that resulted from one of my little mishaps on display. Oh, does the great lawyer, like the great detective, want to exhibit some trophies of his finest moments? Get out of my you head, get out of my head. You got fine hot head from a private? Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. From a, from a young private? <laughs> You look very dashing in your uniform there, Mr. Garadab. Okay. Ah, uh, that old <laughs> portrait. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that old portrait, eh? Drawn by an art student who used to rent the down the room downstairs. Oh, you look so wonderfully young and courageous and strong. Like, you look like none of those now. Yes, uh, the chap presented it to me one day and asked if I'd let him off the month's rent in return. Oh, I see. So... You did, presumably? <laughs> no. <laughs> I bolly well did not. <laughs> oh. A portrait is a portrait, but rent is rent. Eh. And yet, it's still there proudly on the wall. <laughs> I will take the art, though. Oh, I okay. think this guy should die. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good to see Mr. Garadab's Medal of Honor so proudly display on the wall. Let's kill this guy with hammers. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Let's get this let's guy. Let's get him with hammers. <laughs> Dude, that fucking Northern Lion clip. Okay, so okay. fucking funny. The inscription reads, for distinguished participation, if you remember. <laughs> Dude, is, that a part is that a fucking participation trophy? These fucking oh, liberals. Fucking the, the woke comes for Great Britain. They're going to take away our oh knives. <sighs> yes, I remember, because I remember thinking even I might stand a chance of picking up honors like that. Uh, Damn. <laughs> Wouldn't know it to look at me now, perhaps, but I had my Devil May Care days, you know. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Uh, uh, is, this a, is this a possible Capcom reference? <laughs> oh, oh! They're making a sixth oh, one! It's sh I <laughs> Man, devil may care. What did you get up to? Mm. Well, all in the past now, of course, and best left there. Best not. I want to know now. 
Fuck it is. <laughs> I want to know. You know then? <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> no. Remember, remember the fucking fire that you started. <laughs> we know what that screen is hiding now. The aftermath of the fiery altercation the other day. I'm like, mm. okay, y'all, y'all, like immediately identified. I looked over there and I was like, is that blood? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, what the fuck happened? Eh. Hmm. Don't suppose I'll be able to clear that mess up for some time now. Right. Oh dear, this must be a very difficult situation for you. What's she talking about? I'm a free man. He <laughs> loved his wife. He, he loved his wife. He loved pussy. That's right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no, he loved his wife. I'll say. People talk about twists of fate and whatnot. The more ways the but this is a twist and a half, a rotten show all around. He's clearly struggling with everything that's happened. He loves maids. Yeah, he loves maids. And his wife yeah. was a maid. Yeah, case in point, the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These shells look like they've been completely torn apart by a wild beast. Hmm. Reminds me of the Battle of May Wong, don't you know? Ah, you were battling your wand? <laughs> battling with my <laughs> wand. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> the experiences of a seasoned veteran. Enemy had us surrounded on all sides. We really thought we were done for the whole bully company. God, Ugh. he's going to have an episode. <laughs> <laughs> we were taking a real pounding from their cannons, so we all, <laughs> all we could do you was run for a while. You were taking a pounding You were getting from pounded by <laughs> their... Cannons? That's why he brought this one back. And you were and you were holding your wand. What the oh, fuck is going on? I thought that story was going in a different direction, actually. Hmm. Well, the whole experience taught me one thing. I can tell you. When you're done for, you're really done for. Ugh. That's not what a lawyer who often finds himself under fire wants to hear. Remember the window. <laughs> Remember the wall? <laughs> Remember the sweat dropping down my balls? <laughs> <laughs> There's a good view over the wintry east end from up at East End. It's an oppressively gray scene. There's really nothing comparable in Japan. And down below, Briar Road, partly blanketed in snow. And the pavement where poor Miss Green was struck in the back by that knife. Thinking about it, this is the only room in this building that actually has a window to the outside world. Sometimes, Great Britain really does seem like a strange land, doesn't it? I suppose all foreign cultures seem strange at first. Oh yeah, are my nuts okay now? For now. No. <laughs> no. We'll see. Imagine we'll see when the end of the stream happens. Imagine how an Englishman would feel arriving in Japan and seeing people with a Chon Mage top knot. Well, that's a good point. That's not comparable, though, because British culture never uh, becomes normal. Never. <laughs> no ball sitting, okay? Kinda, Make me. Kind of just stays the same, doesn't it? D yeah. Me. That's an impressive collection of cakes on that fancy silver cake stand there. I feel sure that it was full of cakes when we first investigated in here as well. Are you still the most fertile streamer despite losing one of your balls? What do you want me to say? I still am. It swelled up. That's, I mean, I mean, if anything, it's impressive that he is still the most fertile streamer after uh, losing a ball. I lost a nut. Now I only got two. That just means everybody else has to catch up. <laughs> yeah, you give the program. Yeah, it's quite right. I haven't touched it since. I haven't done much at all, really, since it all happened. Time's rather stood still for me, you know. Oh. Time has stood still. That's an interesting phrase. I might be able to use that excuse when I'm, <laughs> when I'm next supposed to be tidying the office. You could just tidy up, Mr. Naruto. Get out of my head! Why'd you do that? <laughs> Get out of my head! <laughs> 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 Wow. Uh, yeah, that's about right. The former three bald streamer, yeah. Yo, this morning's incident, Mr. Garadab. 
maids this conversation? This really is Fate Morgana. Yeah, you're right. I gotta get back to that. You really do. Like fate. Yeah. So to say Morgana? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> it must have been a real shock for you this morning. I hear that you discovered what had happened. What had happened? Uh, well, that hopeless actor chap rises at five o'clock sharp every morning without fail. But at 5.30 this morning, he still hadn't lit the gas. <laughs> smell it from up here. <laughs> so I went down and knocked on his door, but no bolly answer. <laughs> Usually we engage in a little bit of wake and bake, if you will. And that's when you broke into his room by kicking down the door? Well, I called on that rum-looking Japanese chap to do the grunt work, of course. Uh, wasn't it a little premature to kick the door down? The man could have just overslept by half an hour. That's very true, Mr. Narahodo. If 30 minutes oversleeping warranted such behavior, I'd have to kick your door down every morning. Yeah, well, um, you know, better to be safe than sorry and all that. Is it just me, or is he avoiding our gaze now all of a sudden? Except that it was a sorry situation indeed that you found on the far side of the door. Mr. Shamspear. The victim's name is Mr. Shamspear, I believe. Is that right? Please tell me it's not like a fucking stage name. Yes, William Shamspear took the ground floor room three months ago now. And how would you describe him? Mm, in a word, destitute. Destitute? Well, let's face it, the only redeeming feature of that room is the cheap rent. Anyone wanting to live in a place like that is either broke or has a bolly screw loose. So hard to choose which category Soseki san would fall into. Broke. Mr. Naruhodo, that's a little rude. Short. Broke. Ran through. <laughs> Get out of my head! He was doing research as well. Research? Into what? Shakespeare, of course. Shakespeare. I read a few plays of the old bard myself, you know. Romeo and Hamlet and all that. What? <laughs> Wait, what timeline is this? Wait. Yes. William Shakespeare is England's most highly regarded pla classical playwright and author. He's known as Sao in Japanese, as you know. And many of his works have already been translated. It seems incredible that Shakespeare was shortened to Sal, though. Someone was too heavy-handed there. There were a lot of costumes in the victim's room, actually, weren't there? Of course, Mr. Natsume is a scholar of English literature as well. I imagine he and Mr. Shamspear would have had much in common. Hmm. <laughs> Sword Art Online, they used to call him. No! Shakespeare and trepidation disagreement leads to shocking murder. Let's hope it's not that. Mr. Naruhodo, really, how rude. Mm. Yesterday's event. <laughs> <laughs> After Mr. Natsume's trial yesterday, you came straight back here, I believe, didn't you? Did you notice anything strange between then and this morning? Well, now, must have been about six in the evening by the time I got home. Snow was coming down rather heavily, as I remember, and it was completely dark already. That failed actor chap was out at the time. Mr. Garadev noticed there was no light from his room or something, I suppose. I couldn't summon the energy for anything much, so I just sat in front of the fire up here. It was after eight before Shamspear got back. And the chap was up until past one in the morning, I'll have you know. Suppose he met his end some time after that. I was asleep by then, so I'm rather in the dark there. Well, thank you. That was very illuminating. Is everything all right, Mr. Sato? Well, I was just thinking it's a little strange, that's all. Mr. Garadab, you were up here in your room all evening, if I've understood correctly? Not a big fan of stairs, not with his blasted leg. Then... How is it that you seem to know? 
the precise movements of your tenant on the ground floor, I mean. Oh. Oh. That's a very good point. I can't imagine that you could hear noises from the ground floor all the way up here. Does this old man like to spy on his tenants? Is that it? <laughs> I say, I know what you're thinking, and it's bully outrage. I'm ex-military, don't you know? I don't go around spying on my tenants. Why would I? Then how did you know, Mr. Garrett Ebb? It's the gas woman. The gas tells me everything. The... the gas? Speaking gas. What on earth do you mean, sir? How can the gas tell you anything, let alone everything? Well, as you're probably aware, the gas is supplied to the building by pipes. Yes, I'd more or less work that out. Every room in the building is connected by a single pipe to the gas main outside. And the gas company supplies gas to properties via the main. Yes, I understand that too. Let me see if I can explain it. Let's say I was to light the gas lamps up here. What do you suppose would happen? Uh, well, obviously the room would get brighter. Exactly, but at the same time. The lights in all the other rooms of the house would dim for a moment. What? They dim? Why? Perhaps it's because when you light a gas lamp, it briefly uses more gas than usual. And that reduces the amount of gas in the pipe for the other lamps that are connected to it. That might explain why the other lamps dim momentarily, mightn't it? Mightn't? Uh, yes, of course, because everything's connected to a single supply pipe. Is that supposed to happen, though? It sounds rather undesirable. Jolly good point. Fact is, the gas company's pipes in these parts are pretty hopeless. Long worn out. And barely got any gas in them to start with. Opposite is also true, of course. Extinguish the lamps up here and they'll glow brighter than the rest of the house. Ah, right. I see. So by watching the flickering of the lamps in one room, you can determine what's happening elsewhere. Hmm. You've got it. Mm, part. Well, of course, because when people come back home in the evening and before they go to sleep at night, what they're guaranteed to do is either light or put out their lamps and fires. Clever. In point of fact, the room on the ground floor and the one above it uses slightly different amounts of gas. By watching the lights in here closely, I can work out almost exactly what's going on in the whole house. Gosh, that's fascinating, Mr. Garadeb. Absolutely fascinating. Oh, well, nothing to it, really. And I can't really see that it's going to help us with the case, either. What I'd like to know is why Mr. Garadeb is so interested in what his tenants are up to in the first place. I feel like there's more to it than idle curiosity. Oh, well. Oh, oh fucking well. Hey, you know what this is about? Mr. Eric Garadab, can I show you this? Mm -hmm. oh, I've been quite a couple of days, as you can imagine. I'm afraid I'm rather tired. I haven't really got the energy in the old eyeballs, to be honest with you. Some other time, then. Hmm. What about this bar of soap? Mr. Garadab, can I show you this? <laughs> Mr. Garadab, promise not to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't get mad. <coughs> Alright, well... Uh, I'm out of here. Well, fucking later. Fucking I'm later. Fucking later, old timer. Briar Road. The 21st of February, Briar Road. No, don't move. I need to fucking examine. What's this fucked up BC Clay? Fucked up BC clay -ta. There always seems to be a bicycle outside the Garadev residence. I read the bicycles are extremely popular all over Great Britain at the moment, in fact. That one seems very warped, though, especially the front wheel. Is that to make it more of a challenge to ride, do you think? No, I'm afraid that may be a result of the rider's incompetence. For the front wheel to be so badly warped, I'm afraid the rider may have been similarly afflicted. Then, there's a good chance Mr. Natsume has been practicing on this bicycle, I think. 
Oh dear, I fear you may be right. And I'm right? Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello, it's me! <laughs> Why somebody build this snowman on some sort of pedestal, do you think? That's not a pedestal, Mr. Narahodo. That's part of the snowman's body. Really? But it already has a perfectly good body. Why would they go and ruin it? Well, it's true that British snowmen are usually made with two balls of snow. Perhaps this is a foreigner. And now we're looking at him as if he's strange. Poor man, I know how he feels. This is the classic three ball. <laughs> if anything, it's Japanese and British two ball snowmen that are the strange ones, isn't it? After all, real people do have three sections, head, torso, and legs. Do you ever think that perhaps uh, you think about things too much? Hello! Do you think that you think about things too little? Shut up. <laughs> Shut the What if we all die tomorrow? What if we, what if we all die tomorrow? London's blanketed in fog again today and the sky is covered in cloud. Cloud? Cloud? <gasps> if you look carefully in the distance, you can just make out the crystal tower being built. Hello, cherry juice. Ah, the crystal tower. Cherry juice. Ah, the crystal tower, yes. The centerpiece of the great exhibition that's so to open in six months' time. <laughs> great exhibition. Great, <laughs> great exhibition. In it. Everyone's talking about the great exhibition of London at the moment, it seems. Well, it's to be the largest event of its kind anywhere in the world, with technology and scientists from all over. World's Fair clears. I can't wait for it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think visiting students from the Far East like us will be granted entry? <laughs> the last great exhibition that was held in London had more than 6 million visitors, it seems. That seems like a lie. And this time, the British are determined to make it an even bigger success to outdo the Paris Exposition. I Sorry, I see. the Paris Exposition. <laughs> exposition. Exposition. <laughs> That's an incredible number of people. With so many people expected to attend, we should easily be able to slip in unnoticed. There's always the honest approach of buying tickets at the main entrance, Mr. Naruto. No. Never. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> I'm, I'm short. You, you, I'm broke. You got ticket money? I'm short. <laughs> you got broke, Crystal Tower money? Ran through. With the exception of the top floor where Mr. and Mrs. Garadab live, all the windows are bricked up. What? Yes, that's because of an old window tax that was charged on the number of windows a property had. In order to pay less tax, the poorer members of society filled in many of their windows. But the tax has since been abolished, hasn't it? So the windows could have all opened up again, surely. Unfortunately, it would appear that the residents of this district can't, aport, can't afford to pay to have the work done. Yes, that is a sad state of affairs. Who's fucking... Okay. <laughs> Especially for people like poor Mr. Natsume have to live all cooped up in a windowless room. I suppose that's the price you pay for living in a very cheap accommodation. <laughs> Having to live all bricked up in a windowless yeah. room. <laughs> it all seems rather pointless when you put it like that. Isn't it also pointless? <laughs> this world world, these people. The Garadab household, Mr. Natsume's lodgings, are in a prominent position there on the corner. Uh, sometimes when I look at the building, I can't help feeling that it's a bit of a slant. It does rather look as though it would collapse if even the smallest earthquake, doesn't it? And isn't it supposed to be haunted as well? I think I might have a hunch as to why suseki san is <laughs> such a hunchback. Oh yeah, it is like bowed out. That shit went yep. real... Yeah, this place sucks. This place is horrible. It's no me. It's no me. Hello. Dude, I Hello. hate Tacoma, Washington. Why does everything look like this? It's me. I'm Snowy the Snowman. I'm Snowy the Snowman. Hello. Hello, Cherry Chews. What's Hi. up? Are you hungry? Hello, Cherry Chews. Do you want me to? Are we making? Do you want me to make the hot dogs and stuff for dinner, or do you want pasta? That sounds better. Oh, 
You'd have hot dogs and buttered pasta. Yeah, yeah we'll make hot dogs. Dev wants hot dogs too, so can we? Can Dev come over for dinner? Okay. Let's go to prison. Okay. For the reason I love prison. Local prison. Cell nine. Nobody's here. The fuck? Empty. Empty. Fuck it. Am I missing something? Fuck it. Nothing. Fuck it. It's nothing. Uh, I fuck it. Nothing. Uh. I think, well, if you look over at Mr. Shamspear's room, Susato's like, I think we need to do a little more investigating uh, here. Can you take angel hair spaghetti, f feed the strands through slice hot dogs, and then cook them for noodle weenie dogs? Maybe. Or you could, like, just make, Whatever. Them, make, make the hot dogs, like, and then cut them up, and then put them in with the... Whatever people would show that off and be like, who the fuck would eat this? Like, bitch, me. That looked so fucking good. Mm. It's this one singular teacup. Oh, I was just gonna like because we have like the big like smoked brat things that you can get from Costco. So I was just gonna take those and grill onions and shit. And go go nuts. Ah, uh, one of the teacups that Mr. Shamspear and his guests drank from last night. But don't go drinking from them, Mr. Narhodo. There's bitter poison inside. I'm not planning on drinking any. Don't worry. Anyway, the cups are both empty. That's true. So one was Mr. Shamspear's, and the other must be the cup that Mr. Natsume was drinking from. But Soseki-san wasn't poisoned, of course. Uh, perhaps we should take these so we can examine them in more detail later. The pair of teacups has been entered in the corner right here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey. Inspector Gregson. It's me again. Uh, uh, back so soon. Yep. Yeah. After I do that little Japanese fellow in the clink, I'm going to report this to the investigation division. Five minutes time, this place will be cordoned off by the yard. Oh, I see. Well, we'd better be leaving then. Poor Mr. Natsume must be very low being back in a cell again so soon. Get your fine ass in here. I'm sure. Oh, sorry. I'm sure we should probably what? go and... Okay, so here was my theory. My theory was that this dumb fuck was practicing Romeo and Juliet and poisoned himself. <laughs> what the fuck? So, Did he just wake up? So, if that's the case, I'm going to be mad. I think he was practicing for Romeo and Juliet, and he was like, oh, oh, oh yes. What's wrong, Mr. Naruhodo? Ah! All right, well, Robbie, go ahead. Well, Robbie, here's your here's your fucking soliloquy. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player. Ooh, hit that shit. <laughs> that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. This shit like Ricky Starks? Now, how soundeth the next part? It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Indeed! Oh, happy day! Did you fucking dead drop? Whoa, 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 whoa. Walking dead! <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> also, the fact that, like, Ace Attorney has never shown a scene of the crime with a, like, a body there still. <laughs> Fellas, it did it all. Oh, he's he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> he's alive. What was that what nonsense he was saying, though? I think yes, it was from William Shakespeare's Macbeth. 
a soliloquy from Act 5, Scene 5. I did, I was fucking, I was choking. Shakespeare. And so it was that the victim, Mr. William, William Shamspeare, came back to life. If the man had indeed been poisoned, it had transpired that it hadn't killed him. He was taken by emergency carriage to a nearby hospital for treatment, and Inspector Gregson evicted us from the scene of the crime, whatever that now was. They showed me his body? Yeah, but like... Yeah, yeah because like we were, we like, saw that shit happen. <laughs> oh fuck, Crimson Chin is here! The Crimson Chin, Crimson Chin! Whatever do you think will happen now? I don't know. Good question. What a strange situation for Mr. Natsume. Arrested for murder, but then the victim comes back to life. I think perhaps the victim was never dead in the first place. It seems very likely that Mr. Shamespear did consume poison, as we deduced. But was it an accident? Attempted suicide? Or attempted murder? I, I swear to God, I think they were practicing for the fucking Romeo and Juliet scene. Then why wasn't he reading Romeo and Juliet? It was because, Macbeth. Because he just came back and he was in a fucking stupor. He was drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until the truth can be established, I imagine the police will keep Mr. Natsume in custody. I suppose so. Let's hope it doesn't come to anything more than a night in the cells. Bro was gone off a soap bar. Oh, what's this? He <laughs> hit that shit. What's that man doing over there? He looks like he's trying to see into Saseki-san's lodgings. Staring at a wall. Is something wrong, Mr. Naruhodo? Um, excuse me, could we have a word? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bro! <laughs> he just ran off. <laughs> People! I, I do don't that like too. I know it's supposed to be like running off, but it really is just like everyone's just like, <laughs> see ya. British <laughs> people could teleport. Tele mm. Teleporting. I feel sure I've seen that man somewhere before. Where was it? The first game. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I do too, but I don't remember. Well, we've done as much investigating here as we can, I think. Perhaps we ought to go to the prison and speak with Mr. Natsume again. Good idea. To prison. No. To prison. Yeah. Examine again. Oh, the thing on the windowsill. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Nothing. Oh, that's the that's the soap. Uh, we saw it from the other side of the window in uh, Sham Spears' room. He was uh keeping bars of soap out there uh, with something in them for some yeah, reason. Yeah, here, here, I'll show you, I'll show you. I think, I think it's a smuggling thing going on, just because, like... Whoa. What happened to... The oh! Uh-oh! What is it, Mr. Naruhodo? Where's the thing? <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. Somebody coming <laughs> up, being like, hey, where's that thing that they were smuggling drugs into? And I'm like, oh, it's right here. Uh-oh. Oh shit. This bar is so. What happened? When we first found it, I could have sworn there was some sort of round disc in the depression you just here. A reddish one. Are they smuggling like cheeses and shit? Like, what the fuck? Yes, you're right. I remember the two. But now the depression is completely empty. Did the, okay, other theory that just sprung in my real. head. It was a red waxed cylinder. So could it have been that they're smuggling like imported cheeses and this dumb motherfucker thought the soap itself was the cheese and ate it? That's a baby well, I don't bell. Think they, I don't think they said anything about what the thing in the center was. It's just that there was something in the middle of the soap that they were just like, oh, look, fancy, fancy British soap. No weird. Where could the disc have gone? The details of the bar is And, now, and now, the, now the disc is gone. Uh, glad we found that before it was too late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, could've oh, here, Robbie. in fucking court. Yeah. <laughs> here, Robbie, check this. <gasps> what, the what the fuck? I 
And this must be the cup that Mr. Shamsphere was drinking from then. It's stained on the inside. Tea does that, I'm afraid. Even green tea. Oh, really? I've never noticed before. You've never noticed? Well, I never leave it in the cup long enough to leave a mark. I like to gulp it down. Drink tea while it's hot! That's the Japanese way, isn't it? Oh, dear. So many people seem to have the wrong idea about our culture, and most of them are Japanese! Speaking of which, I'll take a sippy. I'll take a normal sippy. Mm. <laughs> you like gulping things down? You like... You like gulping hot things down your throat? Another sippy? Alright, well, here I go. Even when it leaves a mark? Even when it leaves a mark? In <laughs> well, you? it doesn't leave a mark, apparently, so... He's swallowing every last drop. If you do it fast enough, it doesn't leave a mark. And he does it fast. And he does it well. This is the teacup from which Mr. Natsume was drinking. Why is there no mark? Yes, unlike the other one, the inside of this cup is completely clean. I suppose he must have drank in the contents of the tea before the it, before the tea had a chance to leave a mark. I always gulp it down, too. Yeah, oh, we know. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Naruhodo? I like to swallow. Well, if you just sip it little by little, it goes cold. Clearly, I shall have to instruct you in the proper way to take tea. What? <laughs> Drink tea. What Thanks. did she mean by this? <laughs> what did she mean by that? <laughs> The details of the very key <laughs> you're, 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 you're injecting yourself in the wrong place. I know, <laughs> no, I know you don't like needles, but you're gonna have to stand still. Mrs. Sato, I do it in my neck. You what? No! <laughs> my god! <laughs> it, it, it gets into my bloodstream faster, right? Mrs. Sato. Uh, I've just been... <laughs> I'm supposed to wait to take these? I've just been taking as many of them as I can. <laughs> I, I, I wake up every mo morning and, and inject myself. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? It is so fucking funny that this guy is behind bars again. <laughs> Like literally, <laughs> like he he slept for maybe four hours, and when he woke up, he went back to jail for something completely different. What's the movie of the dude standing in the corner of the room? <laughs> Blair Witch. Look, Mr. Naruhodo. Mr. Natsume, have the police finished questioning you now? Good student, Mr. Naruhodo Esquire! Oh, e yes? What is he? Tell me, is he a ghost? Is he here to haunt me? Let me guess, you're talking about Mr. Sholmes? He actually calls himself a great detective, Mr. Natsume, not a ghost. But, but his diabolic deductions, they're not of this world, they're, they've, they've left me. Oh, cursed, I'm cursed, I tell you! Oh, well, well, that sort of hurts. Credit where credit is due, Mr. Naruhodo. You were heavily involved in the deduction, too. Yes, um, moving on. We have some wonderful news. Oh. <laughs> the victim that we all thought was dead has come back to life again. So you mean that I didn't kill anyone? Now, I mean... in, the, <laughs> in the absolute worst case, you could only be tried for attempted murder. So that's the thing that I'm in, the thing that I'm in prison for didn't actually happen. That's great, isn't it, Mr. Natsume? It's terrible! Oh, I'm stuck in this cell, suffering from some silly wrong end of the stick. You did it, didn't you? Confess you're a killer. Why the mustache? Ugh. 
constant questions. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, that's your sister. Make up your mind that you dead or alive. COVID going to come back to life. Why bother dying? Wickedly wishy washy William. Well, it seems likely that Mr. Shamspear was never actually dead in the first place. Ah, oh, yes, that makes sense. And I'm pleased that he's alive, of course. Our lively debate last night was much fun. I'd be sad to think it was our last. You baited him? <laughs> what? Oh! You were in his room late at night, baiting? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mr. Natsume, does this mean that you did see the victim last night? You met with Mr. Shamspear, didn't you? I'm not saying another word! I demand to have a lawyer present! I am your fucking lawyer. What do you think I am? Please, Mr. Natsume, we need to hear your side of the story. Oh, oh why am I cursed like this? We'll and, be back. And we did. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> oh, it's getting late, isn't it? I forgot here. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell us exactly what happened last night then, Mr. Natsume? There's nothing to tell. Okay. But Mr. Naruhoto Esquire, I'm eternally grateful to you for helping me with that accursed case yesterday. The case that's... Oh, my bad. Sorry. Oh. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. In the case that saw poor Miss Green hospitalized after she ended up with a knife in her back. Don't show the picture. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to believe that was only yesterday. Show the picture. <laughs> Turn the bed. After the trial was over, I trudged my weary way back to my lonely lodgings. And that evening, at past night, it must have been, I visited Mr. Shamspear. So you did go to the victim's room then? As we feared. I didn't do anything wrong! I've never been to his room before, it was the first time! It was your first time? <laughs> it was your first time in his room alone? With then, a man? With a man? Then what made you decide God to go? Damn it. I'm not gay! <laughs> <laughs> I bumped into him. You what? <laughs> you bumped into him? I'm not really gay, Mr. Naruto! No. <laughs> Locum student, Mr. Naruto Esquire, I'm not beating the allegations! <laughs> oh, oh my god. I bumped into him when I arrived back at the house. We got chatting and it developed into a discussion. And it developed into a... And... Discussion. <laughs> we discussed many things with our tongues. But he had to go out, so I bade him farewell. You bade him? You bathed with him, is what you said? You what? No, bade! B A D E! Bade! You were down bade, is what you said? Well, <laughs> his eyes are straight. <laughs> Coach Z ass. <laughs> down bade! There was down bade! Oh, <laughs> uh. He tried to roars me up! <laughs> Oh. You're... <laughs> You're gay! <laughs> <laughs> that ties in with what Mr. Garadab says that the victim went out and came back after eight. I asked Shorty for the snort! <laughs> <laughs> we... we met again <laughs> later that evening at around nine or just after. When I took him some nice tea I brewed as a gift. So, it was you who brought the tea that had been clearly been drunk at the scene, then? It was you who brought the tea! <laughs> okay. And... and I suppose you were discussing the works of Shakespeare, were you? 
Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. That's exactly right. Romeo and Juliet, who was the stronger? It was a delightful debate. I swear to fucking God. I'm sure. Such a stimulating subject, Shakespeare. And the debate became very heated, so you slipped poison in Mr. Shamsbeer's tea? No, never, not at all! Team Juliet won! That was me! And when I left his room... The fl the, the flamboyant fellow was fighting... Was fighting fit, I swear it, categorically! That flamboyant fellow... <laughs> fellow! <laughs> Oh my god! No, that guy's Irish, not British. <laughs> Mr. Natsume, you often say the same thing about yourself, I've noticed. That you have a cursed existence. I'm sure I've mentioned this to you before, but I've been here in Great Britain for Great Britain. Thank you. Here now, and in that time, I've okay. learned that. It's <laughs> oh no God, he started. He started saying it. He <laughs> <laughs> lost him completely. I've learned that. Oh, sorry. Try it again. Okay, I'll try it again. I've learned I've been here in Great Britain for a year now. And in that time I've learned that it's no place for me. It can be very trying to live in a foreign land and adapt to the ways of another culture. There are foreigners everywhere I look and they all stare at me. They all laugh. That's the impression I get whenever I go out. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Never had to knock on wood. But I know it somebody who has. <laughs> it makes me scared to leave my room. Which is why I've become a recluse. But even in my room, I find no respite from my fears. I've moved more times than I can remember. And then one week ago, I moved into Briar Road. But why? I mean, why did you choose that place? It doesn't seem very comfortable. Because the rent is cheap. I have so little money, it spoke to me. The rent? Obviously, there's a reason why it's cheap, because the room is cursed. Cursed? Cursed how? The previous occupant, the man who lived there before I took the room, died there. Oh. Oh no! He was only a young man, but one morning he was found dead and no one could explain why. Did he eat any soap? <laughs> I bet that motherfucker that ate the soap. That must have been it, that must have been it. That motherfucker <laughs> ate it soap. I ate it as soap. Surely no one would want to live in a room with a history like that. I didn't. When the letting agent <clears throat> when the letting agent recommended the place, I wavered. But I want books and books cost money! A horrible history is a small price to pay! He's just like me for real. <laughs> I want things but things cost money. The man <laughs> Dude <laughs> Me when I want things, but I realize that things has to cost money. <laughs> <laughs> God! Oh, what's that? You want an art? You want an art book? Oh, you 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 want a you want a you want a you want a fucking Jimbei figurine? Oh, you uh, oh, you want a Herman Miller chair? You got the money broke, bitch! You want a you want a <laughs> chair? I realize, hurt you. <laughs> me when I realize that in order to pay for goods and services, I have to have money to pay for goods and services. <laughs> oh, you want to <laughs> you want you want to eat food? Give us twenty dollars right now to oh, deliver it. <laughs> you want a loaf of bread? Here's. $20. <sighs> oh, 
We really should do like something him. about this. Mm. Mm. What could we do? There's well, so many of us. What could we do? From <laughs> history, you know? I've learned that it just takes one person to change everything. But it couldn't be me. All right. Maybe it could be you. Which one of us is dying in the classroom so we don't have to take the final? <laughs> the, view, the views and opinions expressed on, <laughs> on Twitch.tv They're totally expressed by all of us! <laughs> are not legal advice. <laughs> <laughs> when I realized it would mean I would, could buy more books, I signed the lease like lightning. <laughs> yeah, I hate inflation. Couldn't be... <laughs> Could be me. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's all buy I'm kidding. guns. I'm kidding. Right. I'm kidding. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh good heavens! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Mario Galaxy B moving on. Brave or <laughs> No, I hate that. She was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> After I moved in, I soon came to realize what I'd done. You Shut up! I realized how horrible that a room's history really was. Let's just say me in that room. <laughs> have some history. history. <laughs> Gosh, was it really so awful? The horrible history. How did the room's horrible history affect you, Mr. Natsume? What happened? Sorry. Are you fucking eating? <laughs> no, I just got oh, you. Are you biting into a sandwich while I'm trying to tell you what happened? So, Saki-san, I would never eat in front of you. I just finished it. I'm gonna throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even give me a fucking bite. Well, I didn't know you wanted one. You were in the fucking you corner. Know, you know, I've been eating it here. Soap. I heard soap's bad for you, actually. You shouldn't do that. What? It's what? <laughs> <laughs> at first, at, at first, it was just a feeling. The feeling of beady eyes boring into my back watching me. Do you think that might just have been your mind playing tricks on you? No, 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 no. My mind doesn't know any tricks. It was someone else. It's been one, one long nightmare ever since I was given the keys to the place. A nightmare? You've been having bad dreams, you mean? All the souls who've died in that room lean over me in my sleep and try to strangle me! That really is horrible. And now I come to think of it. It happened again last night, too. Question to add everyone, what would you do with 50,000 USD? I don't know, hand it over and I'll let you know. Uh, well, put it pay, in two month, pay two months rent. Yeah, pay my pay my uh, two months rent. Uh, put it in the bank, never think about it again. Uh, I would pay off half of my student loans. I would pay off some of my student loan. Uh, I would get groceries. <laughs> I would, I would get one commission. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see get, get, get groceries. Get, <laughs> pay my bills. Fill, pay fill my, my car uh, with half a tank of gas. <laughs> pay my hot. Pay, pay my fucking. Uh, pay my ER bill from last year. Fucking. Uh, let's see. What else? <laughs> get, get clothes. Uh, start my fucking uh, business. I would, probably just wasted on a bunch of dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. I uh one mm. uh one super chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh I just got I just got done winning the Street Fighter tournament. What am I gonna do with all the money you say? I got a VTuber I watched that could probably use the money. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know where to say my name. <laughs> that money's gone, bro. It's gone. The very same night that Sham Spear that Mr. Shamsphere was writhing in agony for the poison in his body. I could probably get some like street level drugs with that. I was on the verge of being suffocated silently by those miserable spirits in my room. 
for 50,000, you can get that shit that fucking transports you to a different planet. You can get that fucking Glorpulon shit. <laughs> the Glorpulon. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you got that chronic? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Dude, how are you, how dude, much? Dude, are you okay? You've been kind of quiet ever since you hit that shit. <laughs> how, much you, sniff? how much did he take? Don't smell like nothing. Nah, bro, hold on. He's going to be tweaking in a second. Ah, uh, yeah, see, there he goes. He's tweaking. <laughs> oh my god, you're alive. I thought you died. <laughs> <laughs> what? You tied to a car? You tied to a getting hit by a bus? Oh, I, I thought you got hit by a bus. Yeah, no, nah, he he saw into the future. <laughs> he saw into the future. He, <laughs> he, he saw into the future with that. Yeah, no. Mm. Oh my god, I gotta go to work. I got my family to take care of. I gotta go see my kids. <laughs> you simply must move out of that room as soon as possible. I can't. I'm yeah. broke. Yeah, you broke as fuck! What don't you understand? I have no money! <laughs> yes, you're right, I know it, and that's why. I'm already searching for the next room with a history to go home. Because I... I'm all out of, of money! <laughs> money! <laughs> I was please tell me you saw the video where it's like, I'm all out of. Have you all seen that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it fucking kills me. Wait, I. Hold on, I kind of. Wait, wait, I. Wait, give me a second. I kind of want to find it real quick. Hold on. I think perhaps you should try to avoid accommodation with any kind of history at all. What so psyche do with 50,000 USD? Go convert home! To, convert it to yen, go home. <laughs> <laughs> convert it to yen, go home, buy a library. Otherwise, I'm scared that you yourself may become history. Oh, Sasasan knows how to make the man listen. Hey, real quick, look at, uh, look at the chat. <laughs> Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Squidward! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Here, hold on. Let me put it up to the mic more for people to chat. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, what I tell you? First time I saw that video, that shit took me out. Oh my fuck! That shit had me fucking cry. It was I'm all out of <laughs> because I'm all out of. <laughs> Conquerors <laughs> 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 <Cockers> hockey. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's let's oh finish this up and we can go look okay, at our. Let's, okay, okay, okay. Of course. <laughs> Shut up, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lord of the Manor is worried about the curse on my room as well. You mean Mr. Garadab? Yes, he knows that if people keep dying there, he'll never be able to rent it out again. Well, that's true. I, for one, wouldn't go near the place. Ah, uh, perhaps... That may explain why the landlord pays so much attention to the gas lamps and his tenants' movements. You mean because he's worried about their well-being? Is there a fucking gas leak? Because <laughs> he doesn't want his fucking <laughs> his tenants to fuck keep dying. <laughs> he does seem to have an unusually keen interest in the amount of gas in the pipes. There must be a reason why he keeps such close tabs on the occupants of his let rooms. <clears throat> what do you mean he pays so much attention to the gas lamps? Oh dear. Uh, no, it's nothing to do with you, Mr. Natsume. Please, forget I said anything. 
Oh, now you're talking about me behind my back as well. What's, what's important is that Mr. Shamspear isn't in fact dead at all. Once he comes around and he's able to tell us what happened, we'll be able to get you released. Yes, please. Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello! It's, it's Patrick Gregson. Go up over here and what you just said. And on that note... I have some good news, and some bad news. Oh? What do you want first? I want the french fry. Always, every time, the bad news comes first. When hope is all you have, hold on to it. That is my guiding principle. Right, well, in that case, the good news is... Huh? Sorry, but it's just a lot easier to explain everything that way. Then why did you ask me my preference? As you might have heard, the victim, Mr. Shamspear, was just unconscious. He's come around now. Uh, yes, we saw it happen in all its terrifying glory. Instead of being treated by the doctors, but we managed to get a written statement from him already. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Mr. Natsume? Oh, thank goodness, it's all over then. I can leave this somber cell. Put them fucking clone high hands down. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's not the cards. What? Why ever not, Inspector? Mr. Shamsmere has implicated someone as being responsible for what had happened last night. Implicated someone? Oh, dear. You... You don't mean... I'm sorry to say I do, yes. He's pointing the finger at you, Mr. Natsume. He's fingering you? <laughs> By sweet poison did he seeketh to end my life. That wicked this cantif, Suseki Natsume. No! So, I'm afraid to be appearing in court as planned. You'll be wanting to make the necessary preparations. No! This is so funny. I have a hunch on how this entire case is about to go. Yeah, and so... I think so too. Once again, Soseki-san found himself having to take the dock in the Old Bailey. Whether his room was haunted or whether he was just terribly unlucky, I knew I had no choice. The following day, I would represent him in court and do my utmost to break the curse that blighted him. Dude, and with that... Fucking of areas. And with that... <laughs> we will save it for next time, whenever that may be. Uh, this is the last stream. Hope this is the last it. stream, yep. Hope you all enjoyed it. Is this the last chapter? Yep. Uh, well, oh. no, it's just, we're not playing it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I, was oh. just, I, just, I just don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> la, la, I can't la. pretend that this game is good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done pretending. La 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 la. Uh, if you made art, exclamation point art in chat. Show you where to post it. Oh, we fuck, we're in jail. Ah, oh, oh, shit. I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me get my controller out of the way. Let me fucking, uh, <laughs> good finale. Glad everything's wrapped up. Yeah, no, great, ain't it? Let's fucking, um, great, ain't it? Great, ain't it? Great, ain't it? Uh, let me just go through my like videos. Why the fuck not? We'll listen to more Rat Taxi. I don't know why I've been listening to this album on loop. It's very good. Let me go ahead and get everything situated for the fucking whatever the fuck. Uh, made art, estimation more art in chat. It will tell you where to post your goddamn fart. Uh, I'm gonna parking pull up the dying website and his Twitter real quick. Oh, well, everything's fraggable. It's farkin' cool in here. It's farkin' cool in here. I am goonin'. 
Holy carb, Home star, I'm going in. All right. Holy carb, I'm going in. Holy carb, <laughs> Home star, I'm going in. We're off to a great start here. All right. All right. I've been edging to Iron Mouse videos for the past <laughs> four months. <laughs> Dormant doors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> for at Leverboy, I'll be on fucking Twitter. Might render this in the future. Who knows? Hell yeah! That'd be fucking oh. sick as fuck. Oh. That'd be fucking cool oh, as fucking shit. Oh, holy shit! Uh, I I poke my bald head. I'm poking your that big ass five <laughs> Ever, ever since the Halloween stream, I refrain from touching you because I'm scared I'm gonna hurt you. You might. I'm like, I'm like, it like, it traumatized me what I did. Freeze <laughs> <laughs> like a banana. <laughs> We're all ready to go investigate. We're all ready to go deduce. Thank We're you. We're so deducing. Much. That's sick. Yes. Oh, told Mario. <laughs> he ate it. He ate that shit. He ate the soap. It was only, it was only one bite. Was, <laughs> yeah, he ate the whole thing in one mm -hmm. bite. Got that, got that shit. <laughs> got like the, the soap shaped like. I was dialed in. And I took a bite. Thank you very much. Next. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd recognize that fucking art sorry, anywhere. Really quality, my computer broke something is from a mobile device. Mm. <laughs> Blend is this T, Iris. <laughs> what the hell, Block? It's the P. <laughs> I, nah, love, you pissed. I love that Iris so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ham Taru 420 draws like some of the funniest fucking pictures I've ever seen. I right know, now. I know. <laughs> this is very good. Thank you so much. I'm going to refresh, make sure I don't miss nothing. Yeah, we caught up. We're good. I'm gonna go ahead. Wait. Yeah. What's that one at the scroll down a little bit? Yeah. Okay, we did see that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is here. The horse is here. Uh, let me go check the Discord server and see if there's anything in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> From yeah. Aperture, miss this genius. Her <laughs> Herlock Schlobes was one of the smartest detectives of the 19th century, but did you know he just shit all over the place constantly? Didn't know how to deduce at all? Smoked opium. Graduated University of Oxford, age 30. Played Mercu Mercutio on Shakespeare Night. <laughs> was a furry. Lived in a house made of science. Believed in Reaper. Failed the chemistry PhD test 8,000 times. Dragged on his pipe for an hour. Knew Gordy. Sat on his nuts and died. <laughs> Damn, right. This all happened. This is all real. This is all true about every beetle, too, by the way. Every beetle. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is. I 100% can imagine that Herlock Sholmes uh, was like, oh, the Gordy fellow. A good friend. <laughs> this is from Jack in the server, and it's a two parter. So, part one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I can only imagine what part two is. There's part one. Part two. Please. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Suzuki! Suzuki! Suzuki, are you okay? Have you ever you seen the Blair Witch Project? It's Fox. No, definitely not. It it's like Fox. still scary. Uh, yeah, no, it's it like, it's it like, fuck, fuck, no, I'm good, bro. It, it is. You, you tell me that you, the, the film where this group of people go out to the middle of the fucking woods and they get killed off one by one is still there. No, yeah, <laughs> I'm not. The movie that defined the, found footage genre. Yeah, with the with the yeah. knowledge that it was kind of like the most influential found footage to the point where like people thought it was real and like would send messages to the families of the actors and be like, I'm so sorry about your loss. We're going to find Here you did this. Oh my God. I don't know why I wasn't showing Dumbfuck Hazard. Uh, I'm so full of yummy soap. 
or soup. Or... The white devil. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, so... We have Obby Dude. <laughs> Nobby Jackson. Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. Why do I look Dude, like I'm from Alfred. fucking home videos? Like you do look like okay. <laughs> you look like you work at a video store. <laughs> do, do the stream, Brendan. <laughs> ah, Brendan, you gotta you do gotta go stream, live, Brendan. Brendan. I don't I don't know what that means. Uh, you ever hear of Twitch? You ever hear of Twitch, Twitch TV? No. Twitch TV, Brendan. Well, these people they go on they go on Twitch TV and they stream and it's. <laughs> Is and they, they make money. It's called subs. Now I don't I don't know the full word. Okay. What it is. No one ever explained it to me. And I went and chat. Chat. You know what chat is, Brendan? No, I don't. Okay. Well, there's like a place where people talk to each other. And okay. Well, I, w I went in there and I asked what subs meant. And everybody. And there was some night nice night people there, Brendan. What I'm saying is you have to be nice when you go on Twitch and to people in general, okay. Brendan. Anyway, I just lost fifteen thousand dollars. Some sort of someone on Twitch. Ah, uh, Brennan, have you ever heard of a VTuber? <laughs> More Kalai. Oh wait, sc uh, scroll, scroll down. Uh, Jackson, keep going. Oh, and okay, okay, okay. Because I get to, because you know. I get to, I get to keep all the letters in my name. <laughs> no, uh, oh, we have we have this lovely lion in the corner. <laughs> no, Reno Skate, don't think about that. <laughs> of course, it's not just food that passes people's lips. Ah, <laughs> mm. mm. uh, yes. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Wait, devil. Suseki <laughs> having the worst time of his life ever. Dude, this fucking drawing of Suseki. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, she's just in the bottom. And then we have. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Can you leave now so I can gather my thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like fucking. He looks like fucking owl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looks like Luigi's baby, bro. <laughs> That's fucking scary. Oh my god. <laughs> this shit looks like fear and hunger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were being pounded by cannons while holding your wand. <laughs> Mr. Naruhodo, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Holy schmoly. <laughs> Dude, post Warfish. <laughs> That's uh, sick as fuck. There is. Uh. What's up? Something. More? That they, is, is that something else? Is that something that we saw? last time we'll double check because i don't know why it's not showing your stuff let's double check uh no it didn't it didn't get shown last time damn uh that fucking sucks this looks great <laughs> p.s sorry about your testicle yeah no they're fine now <laughs> 71 pounds of sand at time oh <laughs> Throwing your phrase and made her do the gay hand five minutes in history. We ain't beating the racism allegations on this one. I'm not racist! <laughs> we beat them, it's fine. We beat them. We beat them. I'm not racist! That's all good. All right. White people forgave me. <laughs> we get her in the corner. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> <Let's fucking read. laughs> Robbie and I patting ourselves on the back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we forgave each other. <laughs> Wait, it's March. What happens now? I don't know. Madness. <laughs> yeah, welcome. We're gonna play Madness. Hey guys, stream. I, I was just wondering, you know, why is it there a uh... <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> we saw the title nope. of the video. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> when people click on a video, what what do they do? They it's see the first the thing that you see. It's Got the first it. Thing okay. That you see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing you see. <laughs> Holy ball of you, boy. Okay. Ooh, I have anxiety. Would she would push firmly? Would that be fucked over what? I think that would It'd be, be so a, weird. It'd be so yeah, weird. Yeah, that'd be so weird. Smiling Great Britain. <laughs> what? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Shams, if you want to fucking. Wait. Uh -huh. re read this line down here. This fucking. Oh, that's. I, I didn't know that was uh, Shoals. Imagine if cum was the fifth humor in ancient times and the doctor had to suck you off. 
Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> I imagine they keep going back to being completely silent and just like keep doing what they're doing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Something homosexual is happening here. I Something sapping is on. happening in front of me. I just need. Hold on. I'd like zoom in right on the hand. Hold on. There he is. I need that one. <laughs> These he looks, like, he looks like one of those fucking like McNugget toys. <laughs> 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 oh my fucking gosh, he does wait. <laughs> awesome. They actually thought semen was hot blood, so we're already one of the four humors. Then why isn't my doctor on his knees? Riddle me that, they, dude, liberal. Dude, they, they, they wrote that story about vampires, bro. They're sucking, huh? They're sucking what? Meat, meat, what? And <laughs> meat and huh? <laughs> meat and huh? What, uh, Sylvania? He died. He ate some of us and said he died. Thank you so much, Rick. Your... They really went for leeches before oh, sucking you no. off? I know, like, what the fuck? I gotta tell him I got hysteria? Yeah, I'm, hy I'm hysterical. It's all in my penis. I need it out. Oh, okay. Huh, okay. Yeah, I believe that. No problemo, sir. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're all caught up. Nice. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think with that, we're good to... Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? We're good to... Yo, he's fucking that thing. <laughs> Go, Sholmes. <laughs> fuck that thing. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that thing. <laughs> I have uh, to use the restroom. I have to use the loo. <laughs> the loo. With that, we're good. Thank you to everybody who subbed. Thank you to everybody who followed. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. Thank you to everybody who donated. Thank you to everybody who sat and watched. Thank you to everybody who fucking thought mean thoughts about me this entire stream. That means I was in your mind. Uh, with that, <laughs> I'm, in your, I'm in your head rent free. I'm in your head rent free. Uh, let me go down the list, starting with uh, Okie Dokie Dev. Thank you for being here. What up? What are you, what are you been up to? Uh, thank you for having me. You can, as always, find me on uh, Twitch and Twitter at Okie Dokie Dev, uh, where I uh, say silly things and I do silly things. Uh, so silly all, at, at, at all times. Silly. Yippee! Thank you for joining, Dev. Net. Uh, we have one paper box house. Yo, what's one Alfrey. Where can people find you? What are you up to? You can find me on. Twitch and Twitter at Paper Box House. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming next, but you can also find me at MomoCon. I'm going to be at MomoCon in Atlanta, Georgia, May yeah, 24th to the 27th at Booth. I'm going to hold on. I should know this by now. I'm going to make a guess that it's 1108. Yep. Yes. I'm going to be a Booth AA 1108, and I'm going to be selling prints and everything else. So if you would like to get a print, then stop on by. Uh, other than that, uh, I I uh, I'm also on. Uh, I got a YouTube, which I'm probably gonna just put together, and it's also uh, at Paper Box House. Fucking epic! And last, Woo. Yeah. last certainly not least, we have one Robbie dude. Hello. Robbie dude. What up, Robbie? Where can people find you? What have you been doing? What are you gonna you do? What's going on? Me What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Slash Robbie Dude. You can follow me at Robbie.zone, my website. Uh, I also stream every Saturday, 6 p.m. PST. You go to twitch.tv slash Robbie Dude. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to stream, but things might change. Uh, I was thinking about starting Dragon Quest 1 on NES. <gasps> Let's go. Uh, Dude. I, I think uh, now would be a good time to try to get to that series uh, and appreciate fuck. it. Uh, so look forward to that tomorrow yeah heard it here first folks so don't miss out on that that's gonna be a really good stream uh and 
I'm the fourth person. This is my channel, but I'll just say, hi, I'm Lumber Jackson. I'm pushing really hard to do this shit more often and make it more stable. So if any way you can support, I greatly appreciate it. Even if it's just watching, every little bit helps. Views, monetarily, throne gifts, fucking subs, whatever. Everything's cool. Thank you all for joining. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to raid Duper. Duper's playing another Capcom game. They're playing fucking Beautiful Joe. Let's go ahead and we're going to raid the Duper. What should the raid phrase be? I don't know if we said anything funny. Are we funny? No. Are we funny? No. Eat no. soap. <laughs> eat soap. I eated the eat soap. soap. I eated the soap. Go hang out with Duper, playing Beautiful Joe. Your raid phrase is, I eated the soap. Uh, I will... Mm, I'll be back Monday. I'm streaming on Monday. Sunday, we're doing a sub movie night again. So if you're sub to the Kofi, you can come hang out and do our movie night. And then the following Sunday is going to be the, the full Discord movie night. But we did it. That was another Ace Attorney in the books. Uh, uh, goodbye, everybody. I don't know what to fucking say. I hate this. Goodbye, this goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Take care. Fucking have a say good night. Say it back. Say you love me. Say it. Say it back. Look me in the eyes and say you love it. Say it back. I'm raiding. Fuck that.